Don't worry about it. Here, here, just, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Michael, you need to play Franz. Brent, you need to be the narrator. Quick. <laughs> give us give us the summary. <laughs> Wait, I'm not a friend. <laughs> I like magic. <laughs> okay, actually that's not a bad that's not a bad <laughs> idea. Good job, Patrick. Uh, you can take an inspiration point. Um uh, no. so but I, was I will <laughs> No, no, no. I'll just briefly sum up what has happened so far. So, guys, um this is where we or I discovered the audio wasn't working and I will briefly sum up what has happened so far and uh, that way we can continue and I don't have to be so stressed out for the rest of the um, video. So our group of adventurers did a thing, did a thing, did another thing. And if you've watched, they were preparing to uh, raid Cragmaw Castle at night in order to save Gundren Rockseeker who is their benefactor for a quest um, since they have basically completed that quest but Gundren was still captured by the Kragmaw tribe they found that they should probably go out and save him from the goblins in uh, attempting to do so they have ambushed um, one of um, their their main lieutenants slaughtered them and now are using this as an opportunity to sneak into the castle now that they have a goblin who can show them a secret way in allegedly into the castle where they can be undetected and because of that we are now at Cragmaw Castle in the middle of the night and they have for the most part snuck to the exterior of Cragmaw Castle and have not been detected yet they are about to enter it um, with Franz their goblin turncoat i guess and that is where we that's all, all that's pretty much all you've really missed except for some very humorous moments with a that i thought were quite um quite tasteful franz has the best slash worst accent in the world for a goblin <laughs> and for some reason one of his hobbies was making scarecrows outside the castle walls which makes oh it was their it was their job the he was hell, just Franz. he was just really really fabulous at it <laughs> exactly really into it which is why snow thought there were 60 or so goblins at Cragmaw castle when there really wasn't turns uh, out franz just needed a friend and how did snow not catch that i am uh, <laughs> rolled a two on his perception <laughs> check and everyone believed the dm <laughs> So, anyway, I saw the, I saw the stream. Anyway, <laughs> can you? Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you. That, see, I enjoy that. <laughs> I will get I will get a poly on um, my stream. There's no water here. What the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> I, I very much enjoy the Brent. Thank you. I appreciate that. See, thank you. That's that's very well. You can you know what? You can take half an inspiration point. <laughs> Does that? If, if you put another one together, you may get one. <laughs> and uh, half an inspiration point is when you give a player an inspiration point, but you don't you you believe that they're one of those players that might forget they have it. So they kind of have one, but they re but do they really have one? <laughs> but anyway, let's um, let's continue. Um, so we are outside of Cragmaw Castle. You guys are at the disheveled part of it where there's just nothing but rubble and this fallen tower. Um, Franz moves forward and goes this way come my friend come but he does it very sinisterly he does it with two fingers and uh, with his right hand two fingers and his left hand two fingers these long nails come like come like as if he's seducing you with magic um, and he steps forward oh I should put you guys on the map that would help a little bit <laughs> Um, a little bit. Can't see shit, we, Captain. We also don't see the map. So. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. All I see is the Lost Minds <laughs> fan delf. That's why I said I'm putting you and on And I'm just watching over us in the corner. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's the death corner, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Our lord and savior. So, let's see what you guys do. I don't think Apollyon can see. I mean, snow. But snow doesn't matter. Well, I can't see either. But you know, it's cool. You can't see. 
No. Oh, I think I think he means well, like because his character mean? can't see. Yeah. I see. I see my character. <laughs> that is what I see at the very top of my screen. There's a fucking dot. Awesome. Yeah, because no, no, no one has no one has hand on your shoulder. You're fine. Yeah, no one has put a torch now. On, so <laughs> as oh, but he freaks out and then blows off your hand with yeah. Eldritch Blast. That, hey, I'm not standing by Kazoo. A... <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't even see my character. You know this is. I didn't put you on. It's so dark. That's what. Uh -huh. That's what happened. <laughs> You are now the goblin. That's what you said Bye. when you created <laughs> My stealth check is just that high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put you down. Uh oh. He's putting someone down. <laughs> <laughs> well, out of the character before we begin, I would like to just ask the group. Um, which of us do you think is going to fail the hardest? <laughs> uh, we'll see. <laughs> there's, a, there's a one in six chance we all die. Yeah. <laughs> one in six? Yeah. One in six? Oh, you how many roll? That's how many possible rolls odds. we can fail. <laughs> can everyone see their own token? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Some people can see more than others, yeah. right? I would not know because I can only see what I can see. Good. Then. The but question do you is see this. what I see? So, I see myself in a blank square. But yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Come on, you're not that pale. Well. <laughs> All right, fair. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys see Franz? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. I also would like to imagine him physically doing that pose. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm the farthest away from everybody? You're not. You're dead in the middle. You're like dead. You're like 100 percent dead. Sir. Yeah. Are you serious? Wait. Maybe huh? you mean maybe you mean spiritually because you're like just you are blind firing at everybody. You are a human. Apollyon oh, yeah. is right there. Okay. Hazen is right there. I'm like, there. how the fuck do you guys see this? <laughs> I forgot my bad. So as a human, it's hard for you guys to see since you have no torch or light. You're just looking around like. Like touching out instead of telling people you can't see, you're just like touching out and you like touch Hazen's back. Um, Hazen, you said you would go with Franz? Yeah, I'll go forward. So you move towards the ruined cat, the ruined debris of this castle, and Franz goes, Come, my friend. Very sinister, very inviting. Um, I need you to make a charisma saving throw. already doesn't seem too good um as you are listening to his words you're like is he, is he are you casting magic on me like, <laughs> you just start to feel this faint bit of aura like touching your brain what do you do <laughs> I, I, I walk slowly closer and just like slap his forehead. I'm like, no. No random magic. But, no. Oh. <laughs> but was but working, yes, yes. Ooh, you was feeling oh you feeling charisma of France. Yes. He starts doing it again. Do you feel it though? Do you feel it? Let, I look later, over to later, Franz. <laughs> later. Okay, 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 okay. I'm, not, I'm working, I'm working. Later. Now. But 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 I, I give him, I give him an okay, and I'm like, not, not bad, not bad. I, ca <laughs> I call it suave person. It makes person more drawn to you. Yes. Anyway, come look, and you see, uh, there's no light in front of you, but Franz starts to, um, uh, pull at. Um, damn, you guys, it's so hard to describe things that you can't actually see. Blind bastards. <laughs> Well, how's the nose? I have dark vision. <laughs> oh, you do? Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the clarification. Half elves rule why, the world. why else would I not go forward? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, pitch black. Here we go, motherfucker. <laughs> Adventurers aren't the smartest people. Who goes? Who li wants to live? Oh, I do actually. Who wants to live a life of slaying dragons? Me. Um, you see, um, there is just a blanket basically in front of you. You don't discern what it is. Um because there's no like walkway 
Um, this isn't like an entrance. It's just a collapsed tower. But as Franz moves towards it, he pulls back what is now revealed to you and the rest of you as a curtain that is just very well camouflaged with the stone debris and everything. And it shows this like six by um, the six foot wide <coughs> um, entrance into the castle. Um, the debris, for the most part, has been pushed away from this small walkway. And you now, as Franz takes the curtain and moves it further, he goes, Look, see, secret. No goblins, no traps. You are trusting Franz, yeah? See? <laughs> Franz will not leave you astray. And he goes, come, come, let's go. Inside, inside. Take a couple steps inside. Okay. Yeah, hey, uh, Zudo, which one of us do you think could shoot him from here in the park? Uh -oh. So you should be able to see inside now, yes? Yeah. Okay. I still... Um, Okay, never mind. I'm gonna. I am going to push Franz into uh, Hazen. Okay. You two should go together. Ah! <laughs> you push him forward and he goes through the curtain. Ah! <laughs> Hello, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> so you enter this um, tower, and what you see, Once... Hazen, is. Um, uh, rotting crates and ancient barrels show that uh, these prov that they are just that this place was once a storehouse of provisions but they are all just old it doesn't look like anything has seen use in hundreds of years um, you see the heavy curtain behind you blocking the crumble the the where your friends are and uh, you see one other door out of here but you also see a curtain to the south much like the curtain you came through okay uh do i see anything on the floor that would denote like stuff has been moving through here or something was dragged through here make an investigation check you all see that, that that's what i'm best at yeah you and ha you all see that hazen has made his way through with franz um, and I will direct Alton to the tunnel entrance, then followed by Kazuto and Apollyon. Yeah, if I if I have if I have discerned that we're in an okay thing, I'll I'll put the hand out of the curtain and I'll gesture for them to come forward. There hasn't been seen much traffic in this area. You see that there's a lot of dust and. Um, not a, there's no like footprints that disrupt it. Um, so for the most part, you gather it's a very unused area. With that, you right. signal everyone else, and I'll push yep. you more into the room. I'll put you guys in. While I'm waiting for them to come over, do I see anything of any sort of use in these busted barrels and stuff? Um. Stop moving your characters while I move your characters. <laughs> I'm just pointing out where... Okay, you're yeah, I'm actually shoving. Yeah, I have to put you in. Because there's a lot of uh, dynamic lighting breakage. I'm showing the stream now. You see all the dynamic lighting? You see all the dynamic lighting? <laughs> Invisible walls everywhere. <laughs> Franz, what are you talking about dynamic yeah, lighting I, for? <laughs> I think I actually have a torch on because I don't have dark vision. No, no, you, you had it on, but I... Um, I put your, uh, oh, you don't have dark vision, so that's even better. Okay, let me put you back to blind. Okay. Oh, wow, I can't see shit. <laughs> Alton immediately lights yep. a torch. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, dynamic I'm lighting. Just gonna, I'm just going to continue to lightly press you guys forward with my shield hand. <laughs> As you guys are all like moving around in this like dark room now kind of bumping into everyone every now and then like making a little bit of noise as you do moving into crates. Um, you don't find anything useful in this um, area, Hazen. But as you're all doing that, um, Franz immediately lights a torch and he goes, There's Look, so lights! <laughs> <laughs> um, and Franz is going to light a torch. 
<laughs> I am Franz, the ultimate and most powerful master of the flame. <laughs> Franz, I do stay quiet. Turn around and make sure that curtain is very, very secured to make sure there's not even the tiniest bit of light coming out from that. From the south side? Uh, from the top, where we came from. North. Oh, there's yeah. no light pouring through. It's a very thick one. But there is, to the south of you, that is a curtain. And to your east, there is a door. Um, there is no light coming from the other side of the curtain, but these are very thick curtains. Um, you, you do not hear anything to your surroundings. You guys seem to be in a pretty isolated area of the castle. And Franz goes, okay, look. And he starts moving the torch around. Franz, master of the flame, will now show you the way to King Gruul. Let us remain sneaky, though. Hobgoblins are to the south of this area. If we make too much noise, they will come running to Gruul's aid. So, are we ready to move forward? I look back. I'm good if you guys are. Yes! yes. Vondel is just yes. muttering a silent prayer. <laughs> also, before we continue on, uh, Franz, how many? Oh, God. And then I, wait, I realized he's probably going to tell me seven. <laughs> uh, there's, there's, you know, uh, there is, there is, uh, there's, um, yeah, and he puts puts two 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 sticks together, and he points them towards you. Ah, this many. He's got okay. two sticks in his hand. <laughs> okay. Aha, see, Franz, supplemental <laughs> mathematics. That is either a two or an eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, eleven. Let's... Okay, all right. You are knowing now. See, you're very smart. The next time we play, you are on my team. And he starts to move towards the door. <laughs> come, come. Hey, I'm going to go with him. But All slowly. Right. Slow. All right. <laughs> Everyone make a stealth check. Yeah. Uh, no. Yep. Damn. <laughs> I am terrified. Can I give him bardic inspiration to add to it? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. And I'm not spending the inspiration either. I'm... I take the loot out and I'm like, it's okay, and I jam. <laughs> As you guys are moving forward and walking through this, there's now light in the room. Um, however, there is uh, a lot of. Uh, oh, no, debris and die. dust and stuff and as you guys are moving over Vondel you just kick over a crate and in that crate are just these, these <laughs> just ma <laughs> what was maintained pottery and a very small chip in the structure of the box causes it to break falls over and it just starts spilling all over the ground and Franz hasn't opened the door yet you mm -hmm. don't know if you've been hurt. It was it was stuff spilling out of a crate or something that fell off a crate. No, he kicked the crate and that compromised the integrity of it and that okay. just and then spilled all the stuff it was, out of it. Okay. It's rotten wood and it spilled yeah. out. Yeah. I was um, hoping it was something that fell so I could try to jump for it and catch no, the vase in midair. <laughs> no, no, no. But you all hear that very blatantly. But you are not a w sure if anyone else has heard it and Franz turns and goes I said stealthily come on ah, Jesus whoever that is 
and then France. Godless. <laughs> yeah, France starts to slowly turn the knob and push it open, and it goes. <laughs> okay, I, th I think we are okay. And he starts to inch forward, and he looks. I'm gonna. Oh, that is right because it's dynamic lighting. I can just turn the door. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Uh, it's close as I'll ever come to game design. Um, oh wow! And... Welcome to the stream where dreams are shattered. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Franz opens the door. You guys should be able to see forward into that hallway, right? Yeah. Yeah. At least I do. Okay. He um. He goes, he opens the door, and then he goes, Oh, I thought Gross Chamber was a little, a little further away. Hmm. Okay, we should be super stealthy now, because I thought we had a little bit more to go, but actually, he is right there. So, um. Okay, before we continue No on. breaking up what, no breaking up part three. Okay. I'm going to close the door one more time and we will get a redo because to be honest I don't know if you heard that so let me just be short and I'm gonna close the door and I'm going to turn back time so give me one second and he just starts to go he puts his hands together starts rubbing them and then he puts his hands up in the air and he starts going uh, I, I start I, I, I start walking backwards slowly as if I'm being rewound by time. Okay. <laughs> Make a performance check. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> oh, my as, God. You're, as you're participating with Franz, it's not super believable to the group, but Franz's eyes are closed. So, um, the group, um, it's very unconvincing. If, if your little bromance is over, we have a job to do. Okay. <laughs> so, Franz goes, Okay, okay, fine. I will not finish the casting time of one minute to turn back time. So, it's on your head. Uh, Franz once again opens the door. Before we, open, uh, before we open the door. Franz starts to close the door again. <laughs> before the door opens, this little curtain below us seems kind of heavy but is there anything we could put in front of it to make it heavier as so we're not pincered by hobgoblins just in case i mean there's tons of barrels so you could just rearrange and put them in front of it yeah but they're all like busted wood right um for the most part yeah is there any like busted stone i can at least try to like hold the curtain down with or is it not touching the floor busted stone there's tons yeah. of Debris so, but around, like but... enough, enough that it would hold the curtain down for even a little bit, or. Um, uh, you... I... it's a curtain. Probably from being blown open by a strong breeze with some rocks, but that's probably going to be about uh, it. Yeah. Yeah. One one knife can go through a curtain, and moving a heavy stone makes more sound than. Yeah. Ah, fair. Is... Right. So. Well, we're gonna have snow in Gotheim here anyway. Yeah. Okay. Right, then, I, I point to point to Franz, and I'm like, "We're good." You're a creative thinker, but it's just think simply. <laughs> at the it's moment. a it's a little less creative and more. I don't get stabbed by hobgoblins. <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Are you ready? I look at you guys. I give a thumbs up to you guys. All right, cool. Franz will make way. Franz take steps to the side and goes, okay, straight. That is King Gros. It's private chamber. Inside, he should be alone. Remember, there are hobgoblins to the south of us right here. 
It is not a door, it is a curtain. It, it is hard to come by doors, okay? But, as long as you are stealthy, this should not be an issue. So, I have shown you way in. I have shown you King Grohl. We had a deal. Mefra. King Grohl as our prisoner. Yes. Yes, no, no, no. It says, uh, France says, get you into castle and show you where prisoner is. You do the rest. Franz is not a fighter. Nor is he a lover, but still. I'm going to tell him that we can't let him just go, but if he wants to stay here outside of the hallway in this tower that's... with Snow keeping an eye on him, that's Snow's outside. at least okay with me. Yeah, Snow's outside, though. Like, he's, he's... keeping watch on the high ground. Oh, is that not him in tower with us? Or did he like? Look? No, he's he is outside the tower. Yeah. Oh, that's Apollyon. Oh, my bad. Yeah. I was looking at the icon wrong. Racist. Okay. <laughs> so, so all drow look like pasty white people. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Pasty, pasty yes. warlocks. I'm an elf, I'm an elf racist. <laughs> <laughs> So, fine, human, I will wait. Man. I don't mind waiting out here, but I am not going in there. I will sneak up to the door. And I will see if it's unlocked. Okay. As you're approaching the door, you hear voices on the other side gonna, of the door. I'm going to wait by the other door just in case he needs the backup. Um... Uh, Everyone moving, f everyone here, make a stealth check. I will spend the inspiration. Okay. Shit. Fuck. Oh, I'm stupid. You're spending the inspiration you got from before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I marked down Be a part in one. <laughs> no, the real inspiration. Alton, would you Not like... Not the B.I. Would you like to use that half inspiration? Sure. Is it a D4 or D2? No, no, no. You, you get a, you get a advantage. No, nah, it's advantage. Oh, it's advantage. We'll take the 10. Yeah, yeah, that's some good inspiration there. Sorry. Um... <laughs> As you guys are moving forward, um, I will say you guys are s being as quiet as possible in a quiet castle. Um, give me your lineup. Move your characters to the locations that they will be in. Bondles at the door. Mm-hmm. Um, who can see? Uh, from the lighting. Like, who can see where my uh, token is? I can. I, I can. cannot. You want, me to, you want me to chill in the hallway? So, there's an empty oh, space okay. behind me here. I see. Oh, okay. There's a spot to a corner Bart here. Bart starts throwing his torch around so you guys can see. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep an eye on this corner. Because we don't all need to go in that room right away right oh you can rush in after wait so is yeah. the so i'm gonna i'm gonna hey i'm gonna stay out here and keep an eye out just in case we get hopped mm. this goblin is still with us right yeah he's right here is that him that's him he's right here yeah. yes the one that looks just... like a goblin that one yeah yeah <laughs> just because you know you guys went ahead yeah, you can look you can look look i'll put the light right here Okay. Oh, before I jump into the hallway, I I tell Franz just wait, wait here. He's gonna wait right here in the center of the the, the tower you guys stuck into. I'm I'm keeping my eyes on him. Okay. Don't trust him. Okay. Stay uh, Vondo, as you go to tut, go to grab at the 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 door, <laughs> it's more of um uh 
the handle instead of a knob. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a uh, hold on, Let me get my thing out. So you put your hand on the door and you immediately hear on the other side of the door a conversation or hmm, what would be part of a conversation. Okay. You hear specifically, we had a deal, oh, sorry, we had a deal, King Gruel. It was simple. You delay, ambush, or kill any rock seeker you find, and we get anything of interest pertaining to Wave Echo Cave. Answer me why you will not fulfill your end of the agreement. You hear the response. <laughs> Cragmark tribe has bigger aspirations in the long haul. We will spread like a fire, and we need more than you've given so far. And the rest of the conversation uh, kind of dies down a little bit as your uh, the main the first voice seemed to be a little bit more reserved than Gruel, who is speaking very blatantly. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that door handle. Um, it doesn't seem locked at all. Um, you put you click it with your thumb, and it seems like you could just kick it open and you'd be good and you would fling the door open okay um i take one more listen to mm -hmm. make sure that they are still conversing okay um they mm -hmm. are yes you hear a very faint i have one question to ask does the dwarf have anything I need? I only request time to divulge what he knows. You can have him after. There will be no increased compensation. The black spider is not a merciful one. I slam open the door mm. and run right into Crawl's face. Okay. You slam open the door. And by slam, I press up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I press down. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, immediately, objects. Um, sorry. Uh, you can see the light in the room, right? Uh, yes. All right. So I'm going to layer, token, layer, layer, token, layer, token, layer, token. All right. You kick open the door, and you go immediately for your surprise attack on King Girl, but are immediately interrupted as you see the back of a tall looking drow in these dark um uh robes and you have a like a split moment before he even turns around you haven't like kicked the door and like surprised him you've kicked the door open and you've moved so fast you still have his back king gruel is on the other side of a table like in just no armor just like a command a commando brown um thong just like freaking butt stark naked with these army fatigue pants on 
and it looks like this huge hulking bugbear, maybe twice the thickness of Kalarg or any other bugbear you've seen. And you have this moment to do as you wish. What do you want to do? Um, I will... Uh, I will uh, take my rapier and run the draft through. Okay. Go ahead and make your attack with advantage, as he has no idea whatsoever what is about to happen. Nice. That's fucking uh, beautiful. Jesus. That oh uh, damn it! I should I should re rewind the clock, but ah uh, no, I didn't call it. So no, he takes twelve. Okay. Let me um put my get my characters out. I assume you would have to ignite that fire before it does that four damage. That uh, the well, clock? no, it's it's not igniting. It is simply I need to say that it's actually a green flame blade. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. um, green flame. Do we do that? <laughs> is that copyright? <laughs> green flame. So, since the moment is mine, though, I will Spoilers. action surge. And green flame blade the uh, drow again. Okay, give me one moment. Um, okay, I think that's all I need. A couple spoilers for you guys at home watching, but that's fine. Um, so you dealt how much damage first? I did twelve to the drow. Okay. And then so I will through the back skewer him into the fat in between um, like his kidneys and you just stick him run him right through and then you pull the blade out immediately you just after you've just stuck him in and remove it you just hear Aah! and as you pull it out you go in for your action surge attack yeah this time um, so pulling the blade out from the drow, the rapier suddenly begins to lick green flame off of it. Um, the wrists are glowing a, a bright silver, um, like tattoo pattern across them. Um, mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Okay. 23. That will still hit. Um, so the drow takes five damage and the green flame leaps over and hits uh gruel in the face for four okay so another five and then for four yes okay all right so with that you immediately f go for the second strike the flame leaps over to gruel's chest and he just as it touches him, and he does look surprised that you've barged in. He, he, you see a very um, war crazed smile, <laughs> and he just pats the flame off. Uh, I will, I will take my movement and jump up onto the table. Okay, you then jump onto the table, and that's how I end. Okay, who wants to go next? Alright, then Gruel will go next. next I'm, trying, I'm trying to hang on oh. to this. If you guys don't go, then Gruel will go. Sorry, bonus action. One of my, I was on mute. Bonus action, uh, weapon coat one of my crossbow bolts and flame alchemy and shoot it at the uh, drow standing right in front of the door. Okay. Before he does that, I want to give him inspiration. Um, Can I do that, or am I in combat at the moment? So you guys are in combat. You wouldn't be able to do it okay. like that. All right, that one, I'll let him go then. Uh, so, 18 will hit. He takes 11 or 8 piercing and 3 fire damage. Uh, let me see something. 8 piercing and what? 3 fire from the weapon coating. Yeah, sorry. So minus 8. A little of 11. Minus 3. 
okay? So after that happens, Vondel jumps on the, the, the table and the drow just immediately starts to flail around, just Aah! and then you, Alton, just um, attach the, um, load the, the, the flame bolt, aim it up and fire in and you stick him right into the leg and he looks down and it pierces through right below the knee and he reaches for it Aah! and he steps back about a couple paces and looks towards the door like his eyes um um watery um wide shot and you all start to see like this is the go this is the go 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 so who's next um if i eldritch blast will i hit alton is in my way or no? Very short. Um, you're he's pretty short. You should be able to get a a, decent, a clean shot from here. Okay, so I'm gonna open just blast the drow. Okay. As the drow now becomes visible in your line of sight, 19 does hit. You bring your left hand up and fire a blast right into the drow, and he just takes it and he almost gets knocked prone as he gets blasted back. I'm actually going to move him back a little bit. You guys are just, like, hitting him. Uh, minus nine. I'm going to move him back five feet as you just guys just keep shooting him and hitting him constantly. He gets pushed back even more. Um, and your blast sends him sundering backwards. Um, with that, um, what do you want? Uh, here, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. I'm, I'm going to hold my position. Okay. Hazin Kazuto? Yes. What's up? Am I still... I'm still in the other room, right? Yeah, you're in the other room behind Napoleon. Napoleon has just shot a bolt of um, energy in a direction, but you can't really see with him in front of you. You said I can? You can't. Oh, okay. Um... <sighs> Uh, yeah. Can we drag the goblin over? Like, are you going to? What What is the light situation? Or, I mean, you can. There's light in that room. Yeah, there's light in the room. I'm saying, like, if I want to move forward to help. So, and I, but you I don't want to leave. Yeah. yeah, you can you push. You can through. push through your allies. I know, but I don't want to leave the goblin alone. Okay. That well, can lead into something else. Well, what's, <laughs> what's your action? Is there? away do i have to roll something and, like drag them forward uh a grapple check okay how do so, i do that's that? athletics all right we'll make an athletics check versus his uh versus his um athletic or acrobatic yep no i rolled athletics yeah but he's gonna roll uh, that's a 21 uh, you go to grab no. Franz, and Franz goes, "No, no, not the fighter!" And he squiggles out of your, um, <laughs> your grasp. That is what you are, <laughs> third level fighter. Mm. Oh well, now Franz has to die. He knows the meta. Mm. He's the Deadpool of goblins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if Apollyon moves, like a little to his left, is Alton still in the way of the fire? of the fire or like your shot yeah my shot no no but you could move in front of apollyon like you could you guys could move each other out of the way like in his Switch action he's decided to stay there so you have to move uh, through him awesome so you can move forward though so you move forward you push through apollyon <sighs> you bring your gun or a crossbow out gun okay you bring your gun out and take a sh and you see the drow right in front of you. Go ahead and take your mm -hmm. shot. Ooh, 24 will definitely hit. Five, damn, you guys are lighting them up. Light them up, 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 up. You take a shot as the drow has now backed up and he hasn't even looked up yet and you fire and he immediately just takes it right in the arm and he just, just, there's blood, he's being bludgeoned and stabbed and shot with lightning and fi with fire and then more fire and then a bullet and Eldritch Blast and he just goes <laughs> but he's still alive 
Hazin, it's yeah. your turn. Can I move back a little bit? Yeah. Do I have to yeah, you can move back. back. back yeah. Alright. I'm gonna give up my by position. The time you, by the time you've moved back, Franz has already moved about like 15 feet towards the curtain. <laughs> Oh, it's I can like, see him. It's just just like, no, no, I'm just standing. I'm just hiding over here while you guys be over there. He's trying I'm to ease his way away. <laughs> <laughs> you know me too well. Uh, sorry, how's it go? So I'm going to run in. I'm going to take a swing at the drow. Okay. You so move. I, have, I have out Fortuna. I have out the dagger. Okay. Uh, I would assume I have to hit with the Fortuna first. Yes, you have to hit with your main okay. action. Before, uh, before main, you do a uh, hand weapon oh. first. <laughs> nice, Hazin for the first time pulling. You have Today not. Is you, a good day. you haven't pulled your scimitar out in a, in a while, and you, you, you breathe in and you rush past Alton. You make your way. You can just like see the floor as you're running in, and then you look up and you see now you're in front of a drow. You bringing Fortuna out and just slash immediately for how much? How do I calculate this? Do I just, just click hit, it now? Yeah, just, click just, it. just click it. It should. Yeah. Nice. For ten. I do yeah. ten. That's exactly what you needed left. You. How do you? How do you want to do it? How do you do? How oh, do it's do this? okay. So, just jolt forward, and like before he even turns around from all the wounds he suffered, just right across the neck, and I spin over. And I point the blade at Gruel as his head flips in the air behind me nice. <laughs> before his body hits the ground. <laughs> nice. Can I swing with the dagger? At yes. A as a bonus action, you can, yes. Okay. So you slash back. through, and the drow's head comes clean off, tumbling over behind you and falls at Alton's feet as you point now your bloodied scimitar towards Gruel, who takes it in stride the 10 will not hit okay now before because i hit before can i use a flourish or do i have to use a flourish on the dagger hit now um alton with that i would say you are considered afraid of this room for now You're afraid of everything go going on in this area. As the head rolls towards you, and here's here's the, here's the the carrot. I mean, okay. not the, the 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 carrot, but here's the thing that hits it for you, Alton. Mm -hmm. When the head rolls towards you, the head transforms, and I don't mean metaphorically. You see the drow head with its tongue out. Now protruding blood, and it transforms into an alien visage. This totally different structured head, and then you look briefly in this six second encounter you guys have. You see the body of that drow take of the like the clothes, the robes. They are they transform into an alien body as well. This was a shape changer. You don't know what kind of race yet, but you just see this all happen in one go, and it is so unsettling. And Kazim, sorry, continue with your turn. That's okay. So, because I hit on the first one, can I use a flourish still or no? I uh, think you have to no, declare you have to, it as you have part to, of your. Yeah, you have to do it as part of your action. Your main action. Your attack action on your turn. Mm -hmm. But, now um, your, ten, your speed is ten feet. No. But and, yeah. Oh wait, do we have an actual turn order yet, or is this still like surprise round? This surprise is round. surprise round. Okay. Um. So I'm gonna use my bonus. I'm gonna give. You, uh, use your bonus to make your second. Oh, attack. it's a dagger, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Then I'm just. However, just as part stay. of making an at actual attack on King Gruel, as you bring the dagger out towards him and just try to get another lick in he immediately in defiance anger and f in, a, in an uh um a flare of just overwhelming power immediately brings out his morning star that was already at his person and just immediately swings down straight at you 
Like, you dare! Um. It's gonna be a 22 to hit. Yeah. Damn. You take 7 points of piercing damage as you bring the dagger towards Grohl. He flicks it to the side and immediately react, uh, retorts with a slam into your chest. As this, as this morning star, one of the protruding tips of it, sticks into you. And you are now bleeding a little bit. And I think with that, everyone has gone. We can now, as I put up the turn order. Uh, we, can now, we can now roll initiative. So click your token and then click roll to uh, roll initiative. Ah, Jesus Christ. Music to my voice. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> well, I'm dead. I like how I told everyone to do that, and then I didn't do it. <laughs> mm. um, did everyone... Oh, wait, hold on. Snarl has to roll two. Hmm. Um, but the drow is dead. Um, let me remove him. Well, I'll keep him. So you guys remember he is dead there. Um, then how do I do the descending order thing? There we go. Cool. Montezitro is learning tons of things. Tons of things. All right. Can you guys see the uh, turn order? Yes. Yeah. Let me move yeah. a little bit more for the people to see. Okay. Let's put some combat music on. Oh, uh, I forgot the Kazuto's Bambers. Kazuto's not on it. Eh. Yeah, I rolled a 14. I'll add him, I guess. Oh, well, sorry. I Jesus. <clears throat> Is it because I'm in the other room? No. Uh, you had to hit your, click your token and then click uh, roll initiative on your character sheet. That's right. Um, let's find some music. Uh, freak. I'm going to put the backdrop on for now before I figure that out. Um. This is terrible. <laughs> hmm? Not the backdrop. That's not what I was this looking for. This is fine. This is fine. I rolled a three. Uh, <laughs> yeah? Hi. Hi. As the controller of Oddle, I would like to announce that I have probably hit double digits already on rolling natural ones in this campaign. Also, yeah. you haven't gotten skewered yet. I got skewered on a surprise round. Fuck, fuck your three. Mm -hmm. See, next time you make a Vondel, he needs to be a halfling because he has, you know, that roll one prevention mm -hmm. system. Oops. That's a weird battle sound to pick. Yeah. It sounds, it sounds just like a pie hitting a face. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not bad. Sorry, my main fan burst is no longer a thing, so I must settle for this. But it's not bad, so let's do it. So, you guys are now. Oh, let's go back to the screen. Move the background, sorry. So, you guys are in Cragmaw Castle. You have snuck in and now surprised King Grohl in his private chambers, stabbing and firing and killing and decapitating whomever he was speaking with. A drow that I was not really a drow, but as that happens, Initiative is rolled, and you all now find yourselves in combat with King Grohl of the Kragmaw tribe. Let us begin, as King Grohl goes first. Mm -hmm. King Grohl will see the the fighter on the table, the bard on to his right, and say, 
<laughs> Let's start with the soft meat first. He rushes towards you, Hazim. And he will. Um, make his... Yes, doesn't hit. Nope, it does not. So he rushes forward and swings towards you, and you slide under it. As you've already been stuck once, you don't want to be hit again. You dodge under his heavy Morningstar swing, and he goes, Fine! And he is going to, um, um, he doesn't mind. He's going to move through the body of this guy. You're going to get an attack of opportunity, Bondo. But he's going to stay in combat range with you, um, uh, Hazin. Yeah. Okay, so as right he way. spins around to Hazin's flank. I uh, assume a 12 does not a hit. A 12 does not hit as for this for a very muscular bugbear, he is very agile. And he looks older, but he moves with the speed of a soldier. And he gets to Hazid's flank, and you see behind you after you miss this swipe. Um, as you hear the groaning, you hear a, uh, and turn below and see a very familiar face. You see Gundren and Rockseeker bound and tied, S very uh, pretty much unconscious. But um, yeah. So with that, that's King Grohl's turn. We're, um, we are now on Vondel. What would you like to do? Um. So, tell me, what the hell is the animal to the north here? A wolf. Snarling wolf. and preparing to lunge forward to you guys on its turn. Okay. Um. Alright, well, I will worry about that uh, in a little bit. But I will... Turn and look at uh, the bugbear, and Vondel just, it's almost like Vondel just looks through the creature, um, and he extends the rapier out, that creature, and the metal tattoo on his wrist, it flares out for a second. Um, and there's a, just a intense heat in the moment, and it passes like a wave and surrounds the bugbear as a hexblade's curse is put upon it. Okay. Um, and then I will move into range and strike out again. Okay. Go ahead and roll me an attack. No. As you roll, push forward, uh, Grohl is in. He is smiling, he is energetic, and the adrenaline is pumping. You go to swing, and he smacks it away with his hand. He's pretty tall, and it looks like a gorilla just battering away like uh, unwanted snack. And he goes, <laughs> my turn. And as making an attack on Gruel, he's going to use his reaction and swing back at you for a natural yep. 20. Um, tw you take 17 points of piercing damage as you rush and swing at Gruel and he bats it around and he says, my turn. And he brings the hammer down onto your head and just cracks into the side of your skull. You take 17 points of piercing damage. Yep. And it's fine. is there any other thing you want to do on your turn? No, action uh, bonus is taken, so. Okay. Uh, the nice. wound, it just, it goes into the shoulder blade, but Vondel still stands. Makes sense. So, that's done, your damage. Alton, are we are we supposed to be seeing enemy HP too, or not for this encounter? Have you not? Oh, I probably. Yeah, I don't I don't have health bars for them, but I don't know if it's a thing. Uh, well, I don't have to do the doppelganger anymore. <laughs> uh, oh good, I'm not freaked out anymore. Um, you're more you're, you're afraid of the the encounter than anything else. 
not the actual doppelganger. <laughs> yeah, not the actual spiraling skull. <laughs> yeah. So that, um, until that the end. John of... Carpenter was like, "Oh, watch what this thing." Does. Mechanically, it's until the end of your next turn you are considered frightened. But okay. Well. It just means you can't move towards the room. Yeah, I'm gonna use my action bonus action to administer a healing drought to uh, Bondle for three help. All right. I'm trying to show. Oh, that's what it is. Now you guys should be able to see his heart help bar and thing now, right? And that's, uh, that's yes, we that's my it. full action. I'm gonna not on wolf though. Okay. You should move out of the way. Uh, well. Well, if I move away, won't I get an attack of opportunity against me? Oh, no. no. You're, yeah, you're right. No, he used his okay. reaction. He's, but he's also oh, through he did, a wall yeah, anyway. He did, right? he did use his reaction. To get away. So, yeah, I'll move. I'll move to here so yeah. other people can get, get in. Yeah. So you heal him for you. You you uh, through the adrenaline and fear. You shake the bottle and you pass it over to Vondo and immediately start running a little bit south. As you do, Alton, you hear and like you see ahead of you the curtain, and you hear. On the other side, um, it seems the hobbies to the south were alerted to this. Um, next up, we have Kazuto. Yes. So, Kazuto, what would you like to do? Can I try a grapple one more? Um, you will have to move to the goblin to do that. So, that's going to be move five feet and then go to grapple him. Alright. And you said it's ep Alright. That's it. Um He rolled a ten. Um you go to grab him and he goes You are making so much noise and your friends did you and this is what you want to do now Can I try to intimidate him? Um Oh, is that you, too much? You you already used your action to try to grapple him. Oh, okay. I would say you could you could try to talk. So what would you want to say to him to try to intimidate him? I'll give you that. Well, I well, could just want to put a gun to his head and tell him if he doesn't move, <laughs> I'm going to kill him. <laughs> All right. Make an intimidation check. Okay. Well, you, you know, you, I should just shoot myself. <laughs> you pull the gun out. You point it at his head. You pull it at, point it at his head and go... And say what? Hi, my name is Jeff. <laughs> and he goes, I don't know who that is or what that thing is, but I do know this. You do not frighten me. And um, that's going to have that. That's all. Yeah, yeah. that's all of your action. I, yeah, I know. This turn. I understand. Um, I'll just stay here and, you know, <laughs> just have a fight with the fucking goblin. Okay. <laughs> With that, Hazen, it's your turn. You okay. Yeah, you, yeah. What do you want to do? Yep. All right. So, Fortuna's out. Waving Fortuna through the air. Mm -hmm. Point at Gruel. I tell her, light it up, and I use heat metal to burn that ball in his hand. Okay. Link me the heat metal. Uh, link it or cast it. I mean, cast it, but yeah. so I can see the card. Well, let me see if it's actually set up right, but it does not. I'll go into your spell card. Hold on. Or I'll just compendium it, actually. That'd be much easier. Heat metal. Choose a manufacturer of the you cause the object to glow red hot and the creature physical contact with the object takes 2d8 fire damage and when you cast the spell the spell becomes a bonus action which you can okay okay so you have to make a constitution save oh. all right so but he in it so roll you rolled the damage already right yeah, All right. it's four damage, and then if he so fails he takes, on the DC, he drops them. Yeah, so first he takes four, and then he's going to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, where's this? 
That's a natural 20. <laughs> okay. So he retains it, but I could still do the fire damage as yeah. a bonus action later. Yes, sir. Uh, and then with my bonus action... Shit, I was really hoping to heal myself, but uh, I'm going to healing word uh, Vondel. Okay. Just at level one. Give him six. Okay. So and then uh, I am. He used his reaction already, right? Yeah, so... his reaction was used on. Okay. Him. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna get back behind Vondel just so I'm a little closer to Gudrun, and I'm also not in the line of fire right away. So. Okay. Sounds good. With that, um, it's Snarl's turn. As you cast Heat Metal and you start to light up his maw, he looks at it and it starts to burn his hat, hand. He looks back at you as you and w becomes a little worried as you are casting magic. And you then say or hum something towards Vondel and he sees the wounds in Vondel start to heal and that worries him even more he goes snarl the wizard fetch and snarl immediately moves his full speed um will he go all the way um he doesn't have to. he's down half court well he's gonna he go? he's gonna drop there so he maintains advantage um and he's going to make his attack at you. Does the wolf know advantage? <laughs> yes, wolves have attack, 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 attack tactics. Ah, okay. Ooh, that's a For the record, I don't even see anything. You don't see yeah, You have to get really close to the door to get the light to cut through. Yeah. yeah you guys are still in a dark hallway. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're in a dark hallway. You need to go in the room. Or you could light torches now that things are going on. You gotta remember, light is a thing. Um, I can't Door, like make door it perfect. Slamming open and close, I think, at this moment. Oh, the door slammed freaking wide open. Like, the door is wide open right now. And there's just a brazier lighting in this chamber. But, um, sn he, he s Snarl runs forward and hits, hits, uh, rolls a 21 and hits you for 9 piercing, Huzzin. As he immediately goes in and he grabs and bites down on your leg and you start to move, uh, push it away. But it makes it even worse as it starts to tear the skin from your bone. And Snarl just starts to go. And starts How much? Nine. Yeah, we can't see that roll for the wolf. Yeah. Yeah, it's all in the GM thing. I'm not, I can't go through every freaking character uh, token yeah. sheet thing and keep changing it. It takes forever. Got you. But you can see it in the Twitch thing. It's um, I can't really fudge rules while I'm streaming. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> so, fine. We just didn't know if that was yeah. on purpose. Or, no, they yeah. rolled, no, they rolled. <laughs> I'm not, rolled I'm not gonna 11. be like, oh well, he, now he crit me. What a fucking surprise! Yeah, but no, he rolled an 11 and it a is, 21. It is weird because I was like, oh, is he looking at Grohl's roll and just giving himself a fucking 20? No, no, he rolled an 11 <laughs> and a 21. <laughs> but yeah, you take good. nine points of damage. Just snarl oh, bites Leon, into you. Do some damage. But then Snarl immediately um, will, then after the attack, use the remainder of his movement to jump on the table and get the high ground on you. Um, well, yeah. He'll jump on the table and get the high ground on you, Hazen. But that'll be his turn, and now it is Apollyon's go. So Apollyon, you see straight ahead towards the door that has been flung open. You see Vondel. Um, fighting with someone off to his left, but you can't see who he's fighting and you also see a wolf run past Vondel to the right So, you know, there's a wolf to the right and Someone he's fighting to the left, but you can't actually see who what's going on in there unless you move into the room Now you also said that south um, Hobbies are alerted, right? Yeah, you hear what Alton hears um, you hear the commotion of um, goblins talking but very adult-like goblins, nothing too low-key. These have much more of a bass to their voice. Um, I, I, I actually, actually oh, hey, um, welcome to the stream. Fuck. Um, how's it going? It's been a while. Yeah, it's too This is hard. Um, I mean, you have movement. Uh, you don't have. Um, you can hold an action. You can move into the room to make a perception check. You could go in and fire, and then back back up. It's up to you. Can I place the torch and then back out? 
Oh, you could. Well, you could use a torch. You can light a torch yourself if you want. Well, well, because I well, I would have to use prestidigitation. Yeah, but um, okay. I mean, you could you could still light it and then like look in. Like you could still do that. Like, or the inside just... of the room is well lit. It's just the hallway we're currently in is dark. Grab, the... grab a torch. Nope. Say, use a uh, uh, use an object action. Yeah. Action for prestidigitation. Light it, and dropping it on the ground is a free action. That's what your intent is. I'm also gonna throw yeah. this out there. You know where there's a lot of light in the place where we're fighting things. There is that too. But <laughs> you do you. What, if, what do you think is important? Can you see now? If I, if yeah, I okay, I can see a little more. If I move in though, I'm just afraid they're gonna get attacked up to me. That's uh, fine. You you pull out a torch. You cast presentation. The the flame flickers on the torch for a bit, and then it lights up, and you can see the rest of the hallway. You can see Alton, um, very panicky at the moment, but trying, but focused in the fight. And you see the, the towards the the room, and you see you know there's action going on, but you just can't see the rest of it. So you still have movement though, but you have used your action to light the torch with presentation. Presentation. Okay, so I'm just I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move right next to Alton. Okay. So go ahead and move your character how you feel. All right. Yep. With, with that, it. okay, cool. With that, we get to the second round. And as the second round starts, the hobgoblins join the fray. They go 120? No, they're going to roll initiative. Um, so let's add them to the turn order. And let's see what they do. Well, what they roll. Thank God. Roll 20 exists. All right. They roll. 12. Okay. So the hobgoblins go after Kazuto. So keep that in mind. You start to get a gauge. Well, those of Alton and Apollyon are really the ones that kind of gauge this. But you all kind of know that they'll be going on initiative count 12. So, um, with that being said, um, it's Gruul's turn. Excuse me. Gruul looks at the surrounding... Oh, wow. Why did I move that? Oh, because I moved the map. Oh, damn it. Sorry. 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 Who's he swinging on? Um, sorry, I was fixing the map for the stream. Um, Gruul looks about and he goes, Too many to choose. Let's take... Let's not get too greedy. But then again... And he's gonna rush past you, Vondel. And say, I don't like magic. And he is going to just take an attack at uh, Hazen. Uh, so let's do that. Um, too many character sheets. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. Oh, thank God. No, it doesn't. Okay, cool. So he's going to rush over and he's going to go. Rah! But as he's doing that, Vondel blocks oh. with his hands and pushes the mall. The what? Okay, I know I'm fucking myself on this one, but am I in a disadvantage because the wolf grabbed me? Disadvantage? Yeah. No. Didn't the wolf grab my no, foot? It, okay. That's yeah. flavor. Okay. All right. Flavor just attack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, but um, as the morning starts going over, Vondel, you push your arms over and with the rapier parry the blow, and re-engage with Grohl, um, uh, with your blade out to extend it towards him. Um, <sighs> Fine, I'll deal with you first then. Snarl, take the mage. Um, and that will be King Roll's turn, as it is now your turn, Vondel. I, I thank him. I thank him in in a weakened voice. <laughs> um. So blocking the Morning Star blow with the rapier, mm -hmm. uh, Vondel uses the the weight of that impact to let the rapier go uh, dropping to the ground mm -hmm. and 
he reaches into his side component bag and he rips open of the aisle of water and uh, just splashes uh, his face and uh, body with it as he begins to utter an incantation. And as Vondel does so, the water begins to uh, look like frosted mercury as it continues to drip down him. Um, and the armor of Agathis is uh, added oh. to him. Oh, man. Um, and I will then pick up the rapier and say, come on, then. Let's see what you can actually do. Mm, nice. And that's my turn. Nice. All right. You see this hardened mercury around Vondel kind of coalesce and like crystallize and almost like freeze for a moment as he looks like he has this very outer shell, but it doesn't, but it's a little translucent. You can see Vondel, but it's, you can see a very visible like exterior boundary again around him. And with that, Alton, you're up. Uh, I'm gonna. Can I get a shot past Vondel? Yeah, yeah. Or... Oh, okay, well, yeah. actually, well, probably not. Um, being in front of the door. Actually, uh, I'll just move through five. Yeah. You can move past. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Oh, I'll, um, I'll take the attack of opportunity if he's got one. Um, he is definitely gonna. Question. Mm -hmm. The uh the yes, role you is. did with Grohl, right? Is that you have it set to advantage or disadvantage? It's the first roll is always the Okay, uh man. he's at disadvantage because of heat metal. Is he? On attack rolls, yes. Attack rolls and ability checks until the start of next of oh, next turn. Uh, of your next turn, so that means mine. Hold on, let yeah. me read it again. Even even if he passed the constitution check. Okay, so what were you saying? Because I don't know what you're saying. Holding on and take damage. If it doesn't drop the object, it has this amount of growth and ability checks until the start of your next turn. Okay. Uh, so until I go again, he's at a disadvantage, right? Right. Cool. So, okay. um, he will still make the attack, though. Okay. Okay. Which is a 7. So that does not That happen. misses. You try to swing forward, and Vondo once again parries the blow away and frustrating Gruel into focusing on him. Uh, but yeah, I now it is. A, I have a sword. I have a shield. Deal with me. I'm going to use my bonus action to put a poison coating on my next bolt and shoot it at him. Okay. Nice. Which 22, and he needs to make a DC 12 Constitution save. Okay, that's a six. He fails. Okay, so he takes nine damage, and he's poisoned until the start of my next turn. Ooh, which is disadvantage, right? Disadvantage, yes. Jesus. All right. You fire off the bolt and it sticks into his um, hip. And as it does, he goes to grab it. And when he his hand gets to it, there's a pulse. And it goes like a heartbeat. And you see his a very visual reaction as the poison starts to settle in before he gets a chance to pull it out. And he breathes in very visibly. <sighs> Okay. And that's, it. That's, that's all I got. Okay. With that, it's Kazuto's turn. Meanwhile, in the other room, it's a slap boxing contest between <laughs> the goblin and Kazuto. And I think the goblin is sick of your shit and it's going to start to use its powerful arcane magic on you. Oh Make a charisma God. saving throw. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I fucking love this. <laughs> as, as very, um, Look at as, me. How do I make it? Uh, I want you to imagine, um, like, 70s or even 80s movies where someone falls into a pit and has to fight a fake bear, but they're making the motions as if it's some very dangerous bear and they have their hands in the air and they're like, ah, this is a dangerous situation. Your saving throws, by the way, are in the upper left of your character sheet. Yeah. So, charisma, please. Oh, cool. You succeed. As he starts going, You will release Franz, and you will piss off. Okay. 
Now, I'm gonna try to knock him out cold. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll with your what? Or are you just punching him? I'm a pistol with him. With your pistol? Yeah. That's um, the name Krav Club. Make... Okay. That's strength, I would guess. Just make right? a yeah, just make a strength check then. Really? Alrighty. I'd, I'd proficiency or no? No. That's just strength savings, right? That's fine. That, well, no, you wouldn't. So it's a five then. So you go to hit awesome. Franz and he goes, We oh. have a deal! Deceitful! Liars! Liars! And as he starts screaming that out, you get the idea that the sound is going to draw some more attention. And he goes, you liars, you you, you say Franz can go home. Now you try to kill Franz. Franz will use all of his magic power and command all the goblins to attack and oh kill you. God. You will Why be you sorry. Be you think you can just do this to the most important. <laughs> ah! And, um, and the next turn, uh, the goblins will definitely be rolling initiative. Um... So with that, because <laughs> you told your turn is done, and yes. it is initiative count twelve, which means the hobgoblins enter the fray. You, you don't want to move around, or you 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 just be, okay. Um, out of the curtain, Apollyon, you see it get flung open, and you stick to that corner that you're in, as the hobgoblins rush forward. You see Where's one. The it's to the south of you. Oh, I don't see it, but okay. Hold on. Right there. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. The I'm kind of worried. I'm I'm in darkness, dude. You rush. Everything's uh, going. You have a light fine. on you. You have a light on you. Do you not? Oh, I see like two squares more. But yeah. Can you see the hobgoblin tokens? Yeah. Yeah. Should yeah. be fine. The hobgoblins rush forward and try to enter the fray. You see these large, orange-skinned um, figures in actual, ch um, actual leather and chainmail. They seem Do I like get an attack of opportunity. You, hold on, you get you see a bunch of these, um, um, like six or five foot tall like creatures, and with these samurai-esque buns in their uh, for hair as it um, hangs in the back. And they seem more disciplined, and they rush towards Gruul's aid. The first one runs past you towards the door and gets interrupted as he sees Vondel. And as he sees Vondel, he pulls out his blade and goes to strike. But the second one is stopped by the first one because he can't move past him. As he, see, as he does that, he looks to his left and sees you in the corner. And he goes, And pulls out his sword and immediately goes to attack you. So... Uh, let's do, um, let's do Vondel first. Okay. Um, so, um, fuck it. He's gonna, cause he doesn't really need to. So yeah, when he pulls out his blade, he two hands it. Uh, let's do that. Why can't I do that? Yes. Oh, I can do that. Okay, cool. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just trying to fix this. No worries. Uh, all right. So that is going to be a six to hit. So that misses. Nope. Um, you, 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 you don't see it coming, but you hear it. And as you hear the um, the wind and um, pressure from the attack coming in from you, you just turn back over and it slams into the ground. Slams. It just hits. It just hits the scale mail and bounces off. Like. True, but that, that would trigger armor. A bag of this, but yeah, what you said. No, no, no. it's it's. Does he the has armor to deal damage this? to cause a vengeance blow. Uh, okay, all right, cool. So then it does hit the, the scale mail. Um, and then our second attack is towards Apollyon. 
Ooh, that's not a 23 because that's not advantage. That's an 8, so that misses. Um, but Apollyon, the Hobgoblin, two hands the longsword, swings high. You duck down and, like, curl into a ball for a moment. As you do, the blow goes towards the, your head and scrapes against the stone. You see a bit of sparks going in the screeching of metal. And you get back up and you now have a hobgoblin in front of you. Um, so, hobgoblins are in the fray. Hazin, it is your turn. Okay. Well, good. Welcome to the stream. All right. So, first off... How's it going? Bonus action, he's taking the damage from heat metal. Okay. Go ahead and roll the damage. Uh, it's... Okay. Six. Okay. And then, uh... That's a seven. He drops it. Actually, that's a natural one. Wait. It's... That's the damage from heat metal. Hmm? Yeah. That's the concurrent damage he takes. Yeah. What did you roll for? Did I misread something? Does he have to keep rolling at the end? No, that's only to drop it, I think, when I first cast it. Oh, okay. Oh, so never mind then. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. He's still poisoned. Yeah. Also, he would have failed that if it was a 7, right? Yeah. But okay. it didn't matter. He would have, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Because <laughs> right, you, made it, you made it sound like he succeeded on it, and I was, wait a minute, did I fuck up somewhere? No, no, no. All right. But yeah. So I did the 6. I'm going to... I'm going to look at Vondel. I'm going to tell him... Hopefully, one day we get to play again like we did in that in in that in next time may be better but uh if we don't please remember you had a friend keep swinging please and uh, <laughs> i'm gonna cast sleep starting on gruel i'm gonna cast it at level two well it you're only targeting gruel or you're targeting because it would have to be in like it, order, it right? Because right, I'm gonna do. Because it starts yeah, I'm gonna with do the lowest hit points of your target. Yeah. Spell sense creature roll five d eight total is how many hit dice points creatures. Yeah, so I'm gonna do gruel, snarl, and then the thing by the door. The hobgoblin by the door. No, it starts with and the I... creature with the lowest hit points. Okay. Well, so. it's still gruel. No. Didn't work. He cast no, it. No. He cast it on gruel, but the creatures within twenty feet are affected. Lowest first. Yes. Yeah, starting so with the creature. Yeah. yeah. So it would all be to gruel. Wait. What? How? It's, it can't be. Start. So look. It um, counts down from my target, doesn't it? Creatures within twenty feet of a point. You choose within range. You don't target a single creature. Creatures within a 20 foot of a point you choose, ignoring unconscious creatures. Starting with the creature that has the lowest current hit points, each creature affected by the spell falls unconscious until the spell ends. Okay. So you pick an but area. But I would still center it. I can't center it on, like, at Gruul's feet. Either if you center it on Gruul's feet, Snarl is in that area. Because Snarl has less hit points, Snarl is hit first. If you want to point it away and only hit Gruul, you would uh, Gruul, you would only hit Gruul and it would only go on him. But you would have to center it on the opposite end of the room. So either you only hit Gruul or you hit Gruul and Snarl. Yeah, if you threw it in that back There's... corner, it would just hit. Gruel. All right, I'm gonna. No, I'm it would. It, the... it would hit you. As... This, there's no easy answer to hitting just gruel. Yeah. Like it's going to either hit gruel, Alton, and myself, or it's going to hit gruel, snarl, and the hobgoblins plus you. Uh, yeah, our tied up dwarvish friend and everyone else. Shit. So where did you center it on? You've got 24 hit points to go through first, so just, you know. 
They can still do work. I'm gonna... Shit. If you throw it at girls' feet, you got a chance of getting the hot goblins too, which is not a bad thing. I'm gonna do it at girls' feet. Okay. All Starting right, with the... Well, so. that starts with the... Well, it would start with you then. Oh, the lowest HP, yeah. It would start with you. What, Snarl has more HP than us? No, 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 it would start with Hazen. What is Hazen's current HP? Five. Five. Oh, no. Jesus. I'm not worried about the sleep because I'm immune to it. It's more of the I lose five. No, no, you no, you don't take the five damage. But I lose the five no. off it. Yes. It yeah. becomes 19. But... You're not going to get gruel with this. I know. Can I cancel it? Where am I it? Because I rolled it already. I'm you stuck. You already rolled it. You already ca what? You've already said and muttered the incantation. I would let you, like, throw it away, but you would still have cast a spell. I would let you just be like, as you're casting it, just, like, throw it towards the ceiling or something, but... Actually, that wouldn't even work either, because the ceiling's 15 feet high. <laughs> <laughs> so, you could, like, aim it at the other end of the room or something. So, you gotta pick, though. You gotta pick. I'm just gonna cancel it. Okay. So I just you, crushed it in my hand. As you as you're as you're muttering the incantation and you're release and you're starting to release it, you look around the room and you're like, oh, damn it, and you just dispel this you dispel it halfway through, but you still have marked it. Like so it's okay. It's spell casting is a difficult thing, man. Just look it up and then you know you'll 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 get the hang of it. So, with that, you will have a bonus action you want to try. I already used it to burn him. That's right. All right. So, um, any movement or anything? No. Okay. So, with that, it's Snarl's turn. Snarl, maintaining orders from Gruul, is going to take another bite towards you, Hazin, as you start to cast a spell, and he's, that's specifically what they don't want. Ah, shit. That's an 11. That does not hit you. That doesn't, no. Cool. So he goes to bite, and you, mid-casting the spell, have focus on the room again, and back up into the stonework just enough where he tries to bite from the table, but there's not enough room to reach you, um, and he doesn't want to jump down. Both at that, that's Snarl's turn, and Apollyon, you're up at the end of the round, so what would you like to do? You have a hobgoblin in front of you, and another one trying to assail Vondel. Um, staring at both the goblins, I am going to, uh, I'm going to concentrate my energy, and I'm going to cast Armor of Agathas. Ooh, nice. So, and you I'm... gain... Oh, I should mark that on both you and Vondel, too. Um, no, it's, I gain... uh, it's marked. I gain 10 for right now. Nice. Do I add that to my HP, or just... Uh, it's a 10 it? HP, it's a new... Yes. Put it in the, uh, section below your current HP. Oh. Okay, I see. I'm going to mark you with this. So now you have that on. Cool. So you start to mutter the incantation as you s return for t um, back to your standing um, posture. And as you're muttering the words, you see the hobgoblin um, notice, like he's looking at you as you're casting it. And he cringes back with his face. And then you mutter the words. As you finish casting the spell, it's as if air around you starts to coalesce and then bind to you and you feel this heaviness towards your person and a very faint blue glow now wraps around your body um with that i'm going to hold my position and just stare at the top goblin right in front of me dead in the face nice nice all right with that we are at the top of the turn order again with gruel now poisoned and looking a little fatigued and weathered looks at the situation and goes where is everyone goblins to my aid kill the intruders i must i must breathe um you will get no satisfaction um shit what will he do 
what will he do? Mm. He'll make an attack. Fools, what are you doing? Um, yeah, he's gonna make an attack. Let's see. Uh, it's at disadvantage, because he's poisoned, right, Alton? Yes, he is poisoned until the start of my next turn. Alright, so that's a nine. That's not gonna hit. <laughs> so, he goes to swing, um, and you can feel the wear on him now. Um, not mostly the physical, but more of the poison interacting with him. Uh, but with that, he's going to finish his turn by moving, positioning himself. Um, no. He's going to stay. He's going to stand where he is. That's fine by him. He should have done something else, though, now that I think about it. But anyway, Vondel. Fine with me. Um, because he hasn't moved, um, once again, the rapier glows green. And I make a slash from left to right. Mm -hmm. uh, does a 14 hit? Uh, 14 misses. Shoot. Okay. All right. So. And I will stand my ground. Okay. You stand your ground as cruel immediately. Just the blade goes, and he. You see the fear in his eyes. This bugbear king, um, without a crown or anything adorned, he is just in regular adornment. But he instinctually in fear backs up and steps onto the body of the doppelganger and uh that will be your turn uh yeah all right alton you're up i'm going to move over here a bit and then i'm gonna shoot him with another poison crossbow bolt okay uh, 16 16 just hits and so he, he takes six damage and needs to make another check. Um, saving throw, that's a seven. He's going to fail again. All right, he's still poisoned. So that's six, you said? Yep, six damage. Three piercing, three poison. Okay. So as it hits him again, and this one hits him right in the right butt cheek, and he just goes, ah! Curse you! And, damn, it's not looking good for him. You got anything else you want to try? Nope, that was my action and bonus action. Okay. Meanwhile, back at the real fight, um, uh, Franz is in, like, now full sprint. <laughs> he's like, fuck this, and he's going to try to leave. <laughs> he's just going to run out the... Fuck it. So, he's just going to start running out of the... Actually, would he run that way? No, he's got to get his shit. <laughs> he's going to go. He's going to start running into the castle. So he runs past the full curtain and he starts running, th running through um, and doing stuff. You don't see where he, he you see him run through the heavy curtain to the south, but that's all you see. Awesome. You hear him cursing out um, in Goblin. You can't really make out what he's saying, but um that's what he does. Okay. Um. Can I go into that room? Well, near oh, that room. Actually, hold on. I forgot. The goblins were supposed to roll initiative. Well. Man, I have too many character problem. sheets up. God damn it! God damn. This is difficult. <laughs> this is difficult. Curse you, Matt Mercer. Fuck there. Hobgoblin, Goblin, Franz. Yeah. <laughs> Franz right. is his own thing? Oh god. Yeah, they were supposed to roll initiative um, at the start of the turn, but now they're in this. Um, I will say they are they are in an invisible turn order. They've already rolled, and they are their turn is coming up. But yeah, Franz has his own thing. Moving forward, um, uh, Kazuto, what were you doing? You want to run after him? Yes. Alright, so you go down 5, 10, 15, 20 through the curtain, 25, 30, and you see Franz about to open a door. And he goes, um, Leave me alone, goddammit! You are making everything go terribly wrong! Uh, uh, I feel like anything I. Bad, so 
<laughs> so what's your play? Adam. Hmm? As as a heads up, uh, that failed constitution saving throw, I think that means he drops the mace, but that also means I lose my spell on it. Uh, but because I think was... I think every time he takes fire damage, he's supposed to roll for it. Yeah, that's what I was. Assuming. So I think yeah. So I think you were right on it. Yeah. So he he dropped the mace, but that also means that I can't use that anymore. Okay. 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 So Go I'm gonna take my long sword out and try to cut one of his legs off. <laughs> You're gonna cut his legs off. One. That sounds like an attack. Go ahead and make an attack. Should I attack? I don't know if I should. Go ahead and make an attack. Hey, you hey, said. Go Just ahead and attack. Away. Away. Go ahead and attack for him. I heard a step away moment. Uh, go, ahead and attack. go ahead and attack Ron. <laughs> you guys are fucking making me nervous. Too late. So no. Go ahead and attack Ron. It's not too late. I didn't roll anything. Go ahead and oh. pull the trigger. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. You, you see the great threat before you. What do you do? <laughs> oh, you my might slap fight with this guy while we've all died in a fucking room in the upper <laughs> hall. But you see the great enemy, what do you do? <laughs> you do you, Benny, man! <laughs> this Benny Hill skit just going on in the tower to our left. <laughs> Alright, uh... Got that Scooby-Doo chase scene going on. Oh, fuck it, okay. Uh, a 26 uh, will hit, spell? but that's not a... Oh, my fault, my fault. It's that was my fault. fault. Yeah. Roll yeah, it long. He's... 17 will still hit. Go ahead and roll damage. That's just enough. So, you go and you cut off one of Franz's legs. You absolutely amputate him. And the goblin falls to the ground. Ah, you bastard! And you sever off his right leg as he just starts gushing out blood profusely. And you immediately see his eyes flare. You, you deceivers, you liars. As his words start to draw into your ear. You deceitful bastards. Um, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Nice. As you um, start to hear these words and um they grow dark the room starts to um have a weight to it um it feels unnatural uh franz stops whatever he is muttering and returns to his leg squeezing and trying to keep it together um you see him on the ground just bleeding out um whatever was happening does not take hold but there's something strange that just happened. What would you like to do with the rest of your turn? So, he's just quiet now? Um, he's bleeding out. <laughs> he's not quiet <laughs> at all. He's just screaming in agony? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's so... kind of what happens when you cut someone's leg off. Mm, yeah, okay. Um, I would like to apply pressure onto his leg <laughs> you don't have enough action to do that is that an attack is that uh, considered that's, an attack? that's an action oh okay you oh. Your action all right did, did he do lethal damage already franz has grown from goblin stats <laughs> Wait, what happened? Don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Just... God damn it. Anyway. Well, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> oh. With that, your turn is over. <laughs> Hobgoblins go. First one is going to make an attack against um, Vondel. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens. Jesus Christ! Doesn't hit. Um, what was it? It's a seven. No. Um, next one is going to attack Apollyon for a 19. Finally. Um, however, 
as the blade sinks towards you, Apollyon, it stops about a quarter inch from your from your shoulder blade. And as it does, um, like shattering glasp, the blade starts to crystallize for a moment, and the hobgoblin is thrown back against the wall. Um, he takes ten points of damage. Jesus. He takes ten, but uh, Apollyon still takes the blow. Yep. Well, you you only take three points of damage, but that's oh you, my you god. Have, yeah, I'm not rolling too well. <laughs> no, keep it up. Um, but <laughs> Apollyon, um, you had ten temporary hit points. You now have seven. Um, but the um, the hobgoblin takes 10 points and is just thrown back into the wall. And as that happens, you see his face peppered with glass fragments all across his face. You hear him wheezing, just... <gasps> and, um, not looking too good. Um, at all. <coughs> with that, it's Hazen's turn. Okay. So, this is gonna be very simple. I'm just gonna cure wounds myself. Okay. Level one, and then I'm going to use my bonus action to give Vondel Bardic Inspiration. Okay. All right. That's it. One d four. Uh, one d six, right? Uh, please find out for me. It is. It's a d six. It's not a d four. Never a d four. You are a bard. Well, blessings are d4 so but i guess okay. they are i know but like cast blesses one thing of inspiration is six eight yeah, and twelve. I, know. I got you I know. moving forward how's in any movement no all right it is 11 again which is the goblins turn order Sorry, moving the goblins over. You see, Kazuto, the, yes. to the south of you, one of the heavy curtains fling open as goblins start to come through. And they are all up already like on you for a moment because that is the extent of their movement. But... They all have, uh, those two right there have attacks that they can do. Um, they, two of them rush out and you see one come out in like an apron with a big gut. Looks like a normal goblin, but he just has those extended additional features. Um, he looks out and goes, <laughs> Franz! And Franz is on the ground just bleeding out profusely. As he does not look like a turncoat, but as someone who was killed on watch, uh, bleeding out by intruders. And these two goblins will make attacks on you. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Page number one, two, three, four, five. Five is goblin. Um, that's a 21 to hit for seven slashing damage. And then a 17 to hit for 8 slashing damage. As two goblins rush over and start just stabbing at you. They run over and just go, jack, jack, jack. And you just feel wetness as these bloods pierce through your body. So you take 7 points and then 8 points. Yeah. So mark that, please. And with that... Um, what are you at, Kazuta? Actually... 18? Yeah. I'm at 18 now. Um, does he have the wherewithal to short bow you? I mean, yeah. Sorry, the third one is going to hit you for three points of piercing because he rolled a 20. So you take three more points on top of that. As the curtain has already been flung up and there's just a horde of goblins on the other side, one of them just goes, FRANCE! And fires an arrow at you for being a dick. Um, so you take three points of dick damage. Um, Ooh, so scared. Fucking. All right, with that, um, the goblins are done. It's Snarl's turn. Snarl's gonna make an attack at Yuhazen. Oh, character sheet number. 
Number three. That's a 23 to hit for nine points of piercing damage. <laughs> so, uh, are you unconscious? No. No? Jeez, nice. No. Don't forget to mark your, your damage so I can see it. I have been. So, Is it not showing correctly? No, I said you had two, so I was like... Yeah, I'm at two. Okay. Oh, now you're at two. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah. it hits you for, he hits you for nine, and he reels out and bites you right in the arm. Starts to bite into um, your uh, into your your veins, and you can feel it sticking in very... Um, you, can, you can feel the slobber, you can feel the tense, you can feel the pressure of this creature, but you do wrestle your hand out of its mouth. Um, and with that, we're at the bottom of the turn order with Apollyon. Apollyon, your turn. You have this hobgoblin in front of you has just been decimated and has very little um, strength left to stand. What would you like to do? You are muted. You cannot move into the wall. That is a wall. You are muted also. <laughs> oh god. I'm I'm sorry. Okay. Um crap. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back to here. And I'm going to Eldritch Bless the uh the goblin that hit me before. Okay. Go ahead and roll an attack. Fuck. Damn. As you do that, you fire off, and he's his fatigue forces him to fall to the ground briefly, and that protects his head from being um, blasted open. Okay, with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold my ground, and that's it. You are very lucky. So that's your entire turn? Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna hold my ground, that's it. Okay. Why? Oh god, okay. I am now- I am more worried about those hobgoblins now. Okay. With that, we go to the top of the turn order. We are, I think, in round five. And Kring Raw. <laughs> so it sounds like you need to finish off rounds. Uh, that's what chat says. Um, I guess they can try. They have the balls. Um, so before before he makes any movements or whatever, heavy uh, heat metal last minute. Does it still last if he dropped the item or no? Um, actually, you have to make a Constitution saving throw because I forgot that's a Constitution spell. No, heat metal. Yeah. So, but uh, he he already dropped it the turn before when he failed the first time. So technically, he dropped it already. Well, he wouldn't. He wouldn't have dropped it because we didn't know about that. Because he made okay. an attack about. But he used attack on Vondel. But um, you do have to make um a, attack uh Constitution saving throw for the snarl thing. I had to mute myself because the dog was. Barking. Oh, okay. And I had a Constitution. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Con save. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, but yeah, he'll make his save throw. I mean, it doesn't matter too much right now because he's gonna drop it. You don't need it. I mean, oh, it does. God, it does Jesus. make a difference because yeah. then it gives me at least something to do. Um, uh, Constitution. Well, oh, you can 18. cast a new spell and that's just an drop it. Anyhow. Yeah, that's an eighteen. Um, so he keeps it. Um, but with that, um, Grohl is going to hold his position. And he's going to take the dodge action. Um, yeah, he's going to take the dodge action and end his turn as such. And he's going to say, you all will die here. It's only a matter of time. And uh, that will be his turn. So, Vondel, it's your turn. God damn it, of course. Um... All right, well, I'm going to teach him the error of his ways. Um, the rapier 
glows green once again, and I make to swing, and I snap it out at uh, Snarl instead. Okay. Fuck. Shit. You do that. Mm, swears. You go to snap out at Snarl, and um, Grohl, pre prepared to defend himself, sees you snap at, go at Snarl, and he goes, No! And he slaps the rapier down into the stonework. Yeah, that's my turn. I'm gonna just hold here for... Alright, Alton, you're up. I'm, uh, I'm gonna shoot him with another poison bolt. Okay. 16, 16 does hit. Oh, no, with disadvantage, he's taking the dodge action. Oh, he took the dodge action? Yeah. Well, 12 does not hit. So this time you fire off, and he protects his butt cheeks properly this time. Um, the moves out the way, the, the, the bolt goes wide, and um, does not hit. I'm chilling. All right, Kazuto, you're up. You got a horde of goblins descending on you. Franz is bleeding out on the ground, but still alive. He's holding his leg, and he looks to the other goblins and goes, Intruders in the castle! They assaulted Franz, and they cut his leg off! Ah, oh, damn him! Uh, All right. Um. What would you like to do? Would you like if to? I move. Would you like to flee? If I flee, they get to attack me before I do so. Disengage you, if you want to move thirty you, without. You will either take two attacks of opportunity, or you can take the action to disengage, in which you can move thirty feet. Or. Eventually, you will be taking seven goblin attacks in one go. It is your choice. Yeah, I will take the action to disengage, please. Okay, you disengage and move 30 feet. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30 would be up here. Oh, can I move to the right? Yeah, you can move to the right. Uh, mm. and can I use my bonus action to take the I was getting? Yes, you can. So how much would that be, by the way? So that's 1d8 plus what, Alton? 1d8 plus 2. So roll 1d8 plus 2. Sorry, I'm a noob. So oh, something, okay. something to be clear. You're not... You escaped the opportunity attacks. You haven't put distance between you. So just think about so where that you So R, 1d8, and then the plus 2? Yeah. Yes. Slash R, space, 1d8, plus 2. 7 hit points. You heal for 7 hit points. Alright, with that, you've used your action, your bonus action, and your movement. Anything else you want to say? Uh, I'm holding on to my necklace. Okay. With that, um, the hobgoblins will go. Um, hobgoblin uh, attack bundle. For 22. For two piercing damage? 22 Jesus. hits. Um, God so damn it. The little nick of blood... Um, it pokes out and it immediately, when it hits the mercury, the five damaging uh, cold spikes uh, just yeah. react and lunge out. So yeah, These icicles protrude from your back and stick in seven different spots in the goblin's torso and pushes him back. Um, he seems perturbed, but there's still commitment as Gruel is too close to have him falter and flee mm -hmm. um the other goblin uh hobgoblin uh, is just freaking battered um he pulls out his longbow from here and he's just gonna take his shot uh he is still within five hmm he's within five feet of me that's disadvantage on it yeah longbow but you're on the other shot. side of you're on the other side of a wall I don't, okay. really, I don't really consider that in fray since there's a wall between you. Um, so, Apollyon, you take nine points of damage, but this fires off the... Or is it only melee attacks for armor? 
Mm -hmm. Is it only melee attacks for armor of Agathus? Uh, yeah, within five feet melee. Yeah. So um, he fires off a sh nine piercing damage arrow at you, Apollyon. Um, seven is negated, right? So you take two actual um, points of damage as the Hobgoblin fires off an arrow at you. Or okay. does, does the armor of Agathus only block the damage or only react? Let me read it. The armor of Agathus gives you a temporary HP. Okay, and, so temporary, and, yeah. And whenever you're hit but and by melee range, right. so within five feet, uh, it will counter strike. Right. Uh, this goes on for an hour. Yeah, so that's fine. So you'll take the two points of piercing damage because seven are blocked by Armor of Agathis, but he's too far away because it's not a melee to actually receive the counter damage. Makes sense. Right. Um, with that, though, um, he fires the arrow and he's like, Ugh. and he's fucking, he's out of this. He moves south just to get some distance from this fight for a moment. Um, and that's the Hobgoblin's turn. How's it, Mr. Go? Um, so, for a moment, I want you all to look at the situation you're in right now. Oh, it now. does hit spears. Okay. Hazin, you're at two hit points. Mm -hmm. Gruul is hurt, like he's hurt, but this isn't a. Uh, this isn't a. Uh, he's on. This isn't like a. This could go any way right now. So I want you all to like take a moment to look at the surrounding situation and figure out what your either objective is or what you need to do now. And with that, how's it? It's your turn. I mean, I'm consigned to it. So first off, bonus action, I'm in the healing word, uh, Vondel. So he's going to get four. Okay. And then, uh, I'm gonna take a swing at Snarl. Okay. Fuck. That right. will not hit. I was really hoping for the flourish. Alright, that's it. Yeah. With that, um, it'll be the goblins' turns. And, um, Kazuto, you hear from the other side. <laughs> Franz needs help! Take. get. get him! And um, the goblins will, you see goblins start to rush through the curtain. And they will swarm. They will swarm. They will swarm through here. At 1520. Wow, they still have more movement. So they'll make more room. Jesus. They're all going to just start flanking. And they just start surrounding you, Kazuto. Um, you. Jesus. Take. All right, so that's going to be two sword attacks. Um, 19 hits, I think. What's your AC? Say that one more time. What's your AC armor class? 14. Okay, so the 19 hits for three piercing damage. The second misses. The third hits for five. So altogether, you take eight points of piercing damage from the, the melee attacks. Then you have the goblins in the back. Eleven misses. Fifteen will hit, so you take another five points of piercing damage. And then that's one, two, and then the third one is a natural twenty. Uh, you take eleven points of piercing damage. So I think that drops you to unconscious. Yep. So after you go down and take a stab to the leg, you reel back and try to start parrying with your sword. You block one um, blade as your back is against the polyon, and then another blade sticks you in the side as the goblins start to snicker and laugh and just violently just try to kill you. The short bows start to come out, and one misses above your head, and you start to feel a little worried and fearful you can feel you know the pressure coming in and then two arrows just jut into your chest and you fall unconscious and you fall down to the ground and behind apollyon 
Polygon, you turn around and uh, you just see Kazuto just freaking fall and collapse with two arrows sticking oh, out of his chest. These hmm? Mm -hmm, nothing. Uh, continue, sorry. Yeah, they're over there on the other side of the curtain. They're they're all rushing through. These are the I goblin their yeah. curtains. Yeah. So with that, um, it's Sonaro's turn. Snarl is going to make his attack. Uh, Snarl. That's a twenty for me, guys. That's a twenty-two to hit, Hazin. You take <sighs> eight points of piercing damage. And I'm down. Those pack tactics, man. We died again. <laughs> so he goes down, and this time Snarl jumps on top of you, Hazin. Tired of this distance between you two, and he just goes through your throat. And he starts to rip down and tear where that owlbear cut you before, and reopens the wound, and you feel a very violent <gasps> before you immediately lose sight and fall down to the ground. Your last vision, your last moment of sight, is to see Gundren Rock Seeker on the floor next to you. So close. Um, but with that, Apollyon, you're up. Apollyon, you see to behind you, Kazuto has fallen with just arrows and goblins swarming around him, and they're now creeping towards you, um, like this sort of, um, like a scene, and like some sort of like the tribal warriors now rushing, like slowly creeping towards you, just going snickering. <laughs> <laughs> and um, to the other room, you see that there is a bunch of people still fighting. Um, the battle is still waging, and, and now you are kind of flanked by goblins and uh, the main threat. What would you like to do? If I take off his medallion while he's unconscious, it does nothing. No, it would do nothing. You would also not know that um, about the medallion, unless he we, told you. Mm, that's he right. did tell us and... Well, he told you Did anyone werewolf. have no. any tricks? Well, he said he was a werewolf. He didn't say anything about the medallion. The triggering me mechanism. Did he? I... Mm -hmm. DJ, do you remember? What did Kazuto say about it? I mean, I rewatched it. You all just laughed at him when he said he could turn yeah. into a werewolf. Well, yes, we laughed, but... I didn't say I didn't get to the... Okay. <laughs> we don't know, we don't know. I rewatched it to get recapture the voice of Franz, so... It's alright. But with that, Apollyon, what do you want to do? Honestly, I don't fucking know. Um... Uh, let's see... God, um... um... Okay, I'm gonna... Oh god, okay. I'm going to turn around, and the very first goblin that is uh, standing on the left of Kazuto, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to uh, out its blast him. Okay. Go ahead and roll an attack. 24 does hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Six points. As you fire off the shot in front of him, you hit this cook goblin. This big gut, kind of a little bit more rotund than the others, with an apron over, and he's he has already stabbed Kazuto with this like meat cleaver, and you fire off the blast, and it sends him into the pack of goblins, and they all look, and they go, Yag, and they all look towards you now with Yag on the ground, and they go. Rah! Um, Jesus, uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, he is. I mean. Yeah, sorry. sorry. And, um. Damn, uh, Thor, Mad uh, whatever the hell it's called. I, I can't do that. That's an action. Right? That's an yeah. action. Okay, I guess I. I, I don't know. Like I guess I'll. Would you like to move? There's really nowhere for me to move unless the, I get the corner attacked. That corner. Uh, you could move into the corner uh, so I don't want to attack you seven times next turn. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll do that. <laughs> it's all in a bottleneck. 
Yeah. I mean, I'm corner either way. I'm just, I'll, I'll move into the corner. At least. The corner would mean I can't attack you seven times. Standing in this open means yeah. they all take a short bow shot at you next turn. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just gonna stand by there the corner. There you go. Corner, you're going I'm, to the... I'm low. That's fine. And that's it. I'm in my turn. Shut the door. Shut the, shut the fucking door instead. Would you like that's to free a... action? Shut the door? Use an object yeah. action. Shut the damn door. Yeah. I didn't know I had that. I'm sorry. Shit. All right. Sorry. <laughs> it's a real. It's sorry. a real world. <laughs> it's, it's, all, right, I, <laughs> all right. I run back as because you know. No, no. Uh, we'll just say you did it. We'll just say you did Bond it. I was yelling at him. You Not you Bond look down at Kazuto's at ground and you're just like, ah, and you shut the door on Kazuto. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, I man. just remembered that. Oh no, my that's God. an actual door. Yeah. No, see? And look look at that. I have the mechanic to close the door. Isn't Roll Teddy 20 amazing? Uh, uh. Thick boy Franz. <laughs> yeah, I'm just staring at a Thank sad you. screen right now. <laughs> Franz is a thick boy. Hey, hey. We did not, at any point, suggest that you go after Franz. It's okay. It's alright. It's my fault. <laughs> you, you went after the DM's pet. What were you? You went after my yeah. cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, King Grohl is up, and he's going to take the dodge action. Um, and that's his turn. Vondel. Vondel, if it helps you still have my bardic inspiration. Vondel, no, make a perception check. For free. Ten. In this fray, you hear the door slam from the other side where you came from, and you um, don't see Apollyon run over, but you, you get the idea the door slammed, someone's closed the door behind you guys. That's as much as you gather from the, the other situation that's going on. Um, so, you're up. Gruel goes, tick, tock. I can't. Alton, deal with Hazen. Um, rapier once again snapping out at uh, the wolf instead. Okay. Uh, green flame on it. Green flame. That'll hit. 16. 16 will hit. Uh, Gruel takes four. The wolf takes six. Okay. The flame licks over at Gruel. Uh, four. Yeah, Gruel right. takes four. If if it, it it drapes on him and splashes across his face and he just <laughs> snarl the other one. Okay. Is that your act? Your uh, turn, man. Uh. Yeah, for now. That's my turn. All right, Alton, two bucks. What you doing, man? What you doing? Alton, two bucks is muted. He's he's muted. <laughs> I'm dropping my crossbow, mm -hmm. pulling out my blowgun, and dipping a dart in healing drought, and I'm gonna try to shoot Hans with it. What? Weapon coating. <laughs> Say what? Hang on, let me, I, got, I don't have a thing for that yet. Is it just pure, unadulterated healing drought? Oh no, he takes he takes one damage if I hit, but he heals however much I roll. Mm. You know that that's here's here's the hold on. Let's so, let's talk mechanically for a second. Here. First off, one there's he's, disadvantage. He's on the ground. Two, yeah. if you hit him, it's an automatic crit. He takes two failures. Yeah. Oh, I did not. Oh, he's down. I thought yeah, oh, my he's bad. Not. I understood that part. <laughs> I'm like, I fucking love it. I'm over <laughs> here like, <laughs> get up. On, on, the other hand, on the other hand, if you do hit him, he is actually healed it up to one at least. Yeah. Look. The so, best part is, I was like, that is some next level mechanics, but he will also probably kill him. <laughs> in in so, one hand, that is next level tech, and in the other, I just kill. <laughs> I killed the bard. <laughs> well, here here is the question, okay? It's, Alton, if you kill me, it's okay. 
No, no, no. It's, <laughs> it's good. It's, You'll so get them up just as long as you time, hit. This time it's fine. The question is, okay, if Hazen had already failed a death save and he is shot, does the triple death save failure count yes. first or does the healing count first? No, no, no. So if he, he's, luckily he's going before Hazen. So if he goes now and gets him up, he'll be fine. Yes. As per the rules I said before, you carry death saves until your next long rest. So he'll still be down to death saves. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, never mind. No, no, I'm, I'm just saying. I have this idea. I'm, just, I, I'm not gonna use the blow dart. You, I just non moving body, just like. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, buddy. <laughs> no! All of a sudden, I'm just like, oh, oh, you bitch. Like yeah. contra, like I just spin in the air, I'm like, oh, oh. Uh, snake. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, it's still a good move because you can God. get him back into the oh, fight. It's... You could get I love it back it. in I love the it. fight. Alton, Alton if it doesn't I'm, I'm work, go for it. <laughs> if it, it doesn't work, do it. Still do have my it. From beyond the grave. I am so about this life. A 17 oh hits. God, 17 is. hits. So, Hazin, mark two death saves as you take a needle. Oh, he heals for two. <laughs> no, no, no. He heals for five. No, no. He took three and then he healed for five. No, no, so no. He heals for no. two. No, so he takes two death saves. Oh yeah, because he's already at zero, he so he goes five. Like, so now he goes back. So he goes, <laughs> and then he goes, <laughs> and he's so freezing. Someone, you just pulp fiction. <laughs> yeah. Dropped the shot of adrenaline. <laughs> right the he's standing up with a blow dart in his heart, oh, going, man. "What the fuck happened?" Yeah, <laughs> literally, literally, just like, "What the fuck?" Hazin, you awake with this needle sticking out of your neck. And you're just like, uh, and you breathe in, and you see Gundren below you, and you're like, oh, that's right. <laughs> do I do I see Alton with his blow with his no. blow gun? No, no, <laughs> no. You don't see any of this. There's too much chaos. You just like I'm alive. You gotta stand up. <laughs> yeah. So, Alton, anything else? <laughs> no, that that takes my bonus action and that's, action. That's it. That is some still. Alton, when he is here, is always MVP, man. Just fucking... Alton, you better be getting through that out that arrow slit when we all die. Still, dude, you the, have to the legend of Alton Two Bucks <laughs> must continue. All right, Kazudo, you are up. You must make a death saving throw. Jesus Christ! Okay, whoever that is. All right, you succeed on one death saving throw. With that, the hobgoblins go. Oh, While all this is happening, your Polyon is in the back just trying to contact whoever the hell is talking to <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. You're trying to you're trying to talk to the voice? Yep. You really want to talk to the voice? Yes. I need his help. We all die. Yeah. <laughs> make me a make me a wisdom saving throw. Actually no. Make me an Arcana check. Twelve. You are you start to gather the 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 moments of what's going on so far, and you start to talk. We'll get to that. The hobgoblins are gonna go though. The hobgoblin by Vondel is going to make his attack. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nope. That doesn't miss. He swings and a miss. Um, with that, Hazen, it is your turn. You are prone on the ground at five hit points. What do you want to do? If I stand up, I just lose half my speed, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stand up. Uh, yes. Potion is a bonus action. Okay. You start to stand up, and girl's like, <gasps> Snarl! All right, it's a potion of healing. What the hell is this? 1d8 plus 2, yeah, the one unless you're oh. using yours. Mine says regain 2d8, uh, 2d4. You got a healing potion? You bought, who bought the I healing have a potion? potion? I bought the healing potion. Okay, so that's 2d4 plus 2. Well, okay. use mine first, because mine goes away at the end of the day. Do I have one? I didn't take one. Yeah, he didn't take oh, one. You're... Oh, my bad. I thought you were yeah. one of the ones that got one. Rip right. it off my uh, belt if you have to. If I do that, would it still be a bonus, or would that be an action? Uh... He could, on his turn, he could have free-handed it to you, but that wasn't stated. Um, well, you were unconscious on his turn, so yeah, no. 
My hands are tied up, so I couldn't. Have I done would that. say if you want to take it from him, it would be an action. I would let you action take it from him and then bonus action heal. Or or take take your own for now and yeah, I'm gonna do take, what you're gonna do. So I'm gonna take mine. And we're gonna roll those dice one more fucking time. Once more feeling. So I gain eight back. Nice. Jeez. It's probably one of the best healing rolls I've ever seen. <laughs> for a you know, standard healing potion. Alright, uh, let me, hold on, let me delete that first before I forget anything else. Mm hmm So with that, you chug the potion as you get up, and, you know, you still have Grohl, um, you have Snarl. Um, I'm gonna take a swing at Snarl. Alright, make an attack roll. 17 does hit. Oh, fuck, okay, so things are starting now. <laughs> so... <laughs> He's taking six, and then before anything, I'm defensive flourishing, and <laughs> I'm getting this fucking... my bardic inspiration added to my AC. Okay, there we go. So he takes... he takes an extra four, and I gain four AC. There we go. Now, see? Now things are going. See? <laughs> the bard. So That's one of my inspirations down. You swing about, and you start to... F slash across the creature it jumps back and as you do that you keep swinging the blade and as you keep swinging it back and forth it starts to hum and create this wind noise with slashing and something starts to um be created with the slashing forward a yellow sigil in front of you appears for a moment um and with that it turns over the goblins will go and they will just start grabbing kazuto's body and hauling him away Damn, 10 damage is still not enough to knock out that fucker. Nope. Damn. And its name is Snarl. Snarl, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, whose turn it is now? Oh, wait, hold on. The goblins. Oh, sorry. The goblins go. And you didn't lock the door, so they open the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but they used up their free action to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them, right? <laughs> No, look, you actually don't know how good that move is. <laughs> because instead of seven goblins just... It's two. Because, oh, Yeg is... No, Yeg would not go. He just got hit. Sorry, Yeg. Well, Yeg is dead, right? No. His name is no, Yeg. he's alive. Oh, oh, I thought he died. His name is no. Yeg. <laughs> he's he, yeah. has, he has one or two HP left. There's, Yuck, there, like Franz, his best cook. <laughs> uh, yeah, he is. And no, he does not have two hit points left. He is Yeg. There's a difference. <laughs> there's goblins, then there's Yeg. There's Franz, there's then there's yeah, wolves, right. and then there's Snarl. And there's Gotheim. <laughs> you, hey, man, you did this to yourself. <laughs> and look. No, Yeg was actually, was actually... He's actually an NPC. Um, but yeah, Apollyon, you hear the door fling open and hear Aah! the goblin starts running down the hall, looks toward, looks to the front center, goes, Aah! looks to the right, sees you, goes, Aah! and then he goes, Aah! and stabs you. Um, the goblin is going to stab at you for 14. I think your AC is, what? 12? It hits. It hits. <laughs> it hits. Uh, not even. You, you, you take four points of damage. Um, but, Armor of Agathis is still on, so, as the, the goblin goes, yeah, and stabs you in the thigh, the goblin explodes. <laughs> Thank you. You just, he stabs you, going, yeah, and then he goes, <laughs> and ice shards just immediately <laughs> slash, um, protrude from the, 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 the stone and the ceiling, and there's icicles everywhere. And the goblin that was right behind him just goes, <laughs> and got, got killer queen, <laughs> <laughs> done, and is not gonna make an attack this turn <laughs> because fuck that. <laughs> 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 and then Snarl will attack. Oh my god, no. He goes to attack, and the um, the the ward in front of you, Hazen, he slams into it, and like a wall is pushed back. Now that is good. Apollyon, it is your turn. You see that 
in fr front of you, there is just a Rorschach um, blood splatter all over the the wall in front of you. And the other goblin to your left, go, just his mouth is fucking agape, and he's just like... And um, it's your turn. Um, could I use another uh, armor bag of this on top of the one that I have? Yes, I sir. Have three. Oh. Oh. Well, well, he can yes. recast it. You can recast it. You'll get the temp HP back, but it's not going to do 20 damage. Well, no, no, no. I, well, I have three uh, temp left. But I'm, but I'm saying, would that add on? So I would have a total of 13. No, it'll temp. reset to 10. You'll okay. recast um, it and you'll have it at 10 again. So, you could just leave it on yourself if you wished and just Yeah. Okay, I'm I'm going to I'm going to wait till All right. Um the uh what do you call it? Witch bolt would I have a disadvantage? Yes. Not not witch bolt. Um Eldritch Blast. Yes. Yes. What what about a uh, Ray of Frost? Yeah, it's yes. It's still a ranged attack. Yeah. So you could go south, put your put some distance between the hop gob the hop goblin in front of the door, and then cast one of those. He's baiting you. He's gonna swing on you if you move. No, I won't. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll let you know that's... what I'm baiting you. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll, I'll I'll do that. Listen to the DM. As someone who can see the whole map, please kill that hobgoblin. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna move uh, right, you know, I'm gonna move south, and then I'm going to raise my left hand. I'm gonna try to eldritch bless the hobgoblin. Oh, okay, go ahead. Fifteen. No. It doesn't hit him. Hold on. Oh shit! It doesn't. I was thinking, does, and then I had a look. Have does he have more AC than, uh, Grawl? Yep. <laughs> Are you fu- okay. He's wearing chainmail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Jesus. Let me clarify. It is not his full AC, because this takes into account that he has a shield. However, your attack still just misses. His AC is actually 16. So, Damn. is that, right. is that with the shield? That's without the shield. Oh, okay. He's two-handed. He I specify- with the shield. Jesus Christ. But he's not using the shield, which means it's a 16. <coughs> Chainmail, bro. Get yourself some. <laughs> Get yourself some. I mean, if I wear it, I can't do shit with it. <laughs> You're gonna like the way you raid. <laughs> um, but you fire off the blast, it hits the chainmail, no effect. Anything else you wanna try? No, oh. I'm just gonna. Yeah, continue. Okay, so. Um, by the way, while you've done that, you cast Eldritch Blast. Um, you hear it creeping into the back of your mind, gibbering. Um, random, random, random words, random sentences in seven different languages, ten different languages, twelve. Who knows at this point? You can't focus it. You start to get, gain one of um, your headaches again. The voices are starting to grow louder. But that's as much as you get for this turn. Okay, I'll um, I'll end it, but I'll I'll keep I'll, I'll keep trying to ask him for help. Okay. In the back of my mind. All right. So. With that, it's Gruul's turn. Um. Hmm. Oh um, just uh, while I'm talking to him, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk primordial to. Uh, my patron or whoever I don't know who he is. Okay. Um, take a swing. No. <laughs> nope. Dodge Big action. Boss. Dodge action. Dodge. <laughs> Mondo, you're up. <laughs> Tick tock. Tick tock. Okay, I'm gonna burn that damn wolf of his. Oh, God. <laughs> there you go. The wolf takes eight, and uh, the rule takes four more. Ooh. 
you slice through the top of the forehead of the wolf and and almost decapitate it but the brain goes flying off and the flame sears the wound and the flame jumps over towards gruel again and splashes across his face and the pain hits him but the sight of snarl being taken also hits him harder and he goes no you will all pay for that even if i fall these walls will lick your blood dry um talk. <laughs> anything else no that's my turn all right alton two bucks mvp uh... Rules dodging, so I'm gonna take a shot at Snarl. Not dead. No, it... Snarl is dead. dead. Oh, Snarl's dead. dead. Oh, yeah, oh I, I missed that part. I just saw he still had hit points, so. My bad. No. Then, I'll, then I'll I'll try to shoot the uh, the big guy, but I've got my blow gun out, so I'm gonna use the blow gun. All right. Uh, oh wait, I'm, well six misses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was disadvantage anyway, so I miss horribly. Yeah. You just saw boom, and it just goes. Uh, you blow, but it it's one of those spitball things where it goes, it travels like two inches and then hits the ground. You pick it up, you pick it back up, and you're like, ah, you try to reload it. Take a deep breath and cough into the tube instead yeah. of blowing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, with that, Kazuto, I need you to make a death saving throw. All right, some action. Yeah. Let's see. Nice. That's a success. Thank the Lord. That's two successes. Hobgoblin's turns. Hobgoblin's gonna make a... Didn't we just do them? I feel like we just did them. This is a new round, though. Alright. Man, this is a long comedy counter. Um, long sword. Fucking natural one. You know what, dude? Just fucking <laughs> go kill yourself. He, he stabs himself. <laughs> you know what? Fuck him. Fuck him and the horse he rode on. I like, I like this great idea of this, like samurai-esque hobgoblin but he's just like spinning it wildly and just missing like, can't be hit can't hit he's just like so, he's just star wars kid in behind vondel the whole time vondel's in vondel's having this awesome cinematic with gruel and the guy's just like so yeah anyway that happened he, he thinks himself as the main protagonist samurai. Yes. He fails to realize he is one of the samurai who's always in the crowd around yeah. the main cast samurai. Exactly. I, I run five feet forward, I run five feet back. Yeah, he's I run just... five feet forward, why is... five feet back. Why is the hobgoblin wearing squeaky shoes? <laughs> because... <laughs> oh, man. It's just like, it's, it's two balloons that look like the Darth Maul thing. <laughs> I'll, right. I'll, I'll, I'll kill him soon. Don't worry about it. But, okay. <laughs> What's next? All right, so Hazen's up. All right. Can't double up on Bardic Inspiration, right? Nope. No. Can I hit the Hobgoblin? Or am I behind a wall? You're uh, behind a wall. Like, Vondel's in your way, and the wall is, like, he's in the doorway on the opposite side, so it's not going to be a hit. Is Gundren awake? No, he's unconscious. He's unconscious. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna attack it. Fucking gruel. Okay. Disadvantage, right? Yes, sir. Twelve will not hit. Is the dagger? Nope. You start right, swinging a... both, and you go soon, soon, and he just he sidesteps all of it. That's it. Yep. Goblin's turns. Uh, goblin is in a way, so get the fuck out of here. Goblin will run forward. Goblin will run forward. Well, he'll run in here. Uh, they're all moving in. Um, the goblin, the goblins go. Move, big ones, out of way! We here to defend Gruul. Um. And uh, shit. Um. Dumbass. Um. Dumbass. <laughs> um. Fuck. 
one goblin's gonna take an attack at you. Uh, Apollyon for three. That's uh, my three ten hit points. Okay, and then he explodes. Nice. So like, this goblin goes. <sighs> Okay, and he stab he goes to stab you and it hits the glass barrier and then he just goes <laughs> and spatters all across and then the next goblin goes <laughs> And um these guys are watching over you. Uh, this guy's watching over um Franz. And this one is here. This guy's so not in this fight. Um uh, Snarl would go, but he's dead. So let's remove him to the turn order. And Apollyon, it's your turn. Uh, the voices okay. start to get louder as you hear the piercing voice of your patron come through. And like a magnanimous, um, let's say, an echoing bass to this voice calls out to you and says free me and um go ahead and roll ad20 so is that that slash roll 1d20 slash char 1d20 don't forget the r Let me actually look at the random table. I don't think you ever rolled that well. <coughs> One moment. Um, I have a question. Olyon, are you going to kill us? <laughs> I have a better question for you, Apollyon. Um, How would you like to kill them? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. You get five seconds to answer this question. Crap. Time or darkness? Darkness. Okay. Immediately. Everyone, you only see darkness. You are engaged with Battle with Gruul or wherever you are in this castle, Alton, everyone, you immediately see pitch black darkness. As you hear the normal, like, you see, like, you see black, but you touch, like, you touch the stone, Vondel, just to test the sound with your foot, and you hear it. You can hear that there's stone beneath you. You're still in the castle, but you are completely blinded. You all just see darkness. Hazin, Vondo, Alton, Apollyon. You can see perfectly clear. You see the goblins. And their eyeballs are all encased in a black void. Including the hobgoblin. That is your... One second. You've killed us. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> Well, shit. <laughs> Please dispel <laughs> as soon as possible. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. DJ, I don't know if we're going to be able to save your character, by the way, and I apologize. No, that's my fault. I'm sorry. So, Apollyon. Apollyon. Okay. Um, yes, alright. So, uh, with that, um, I'm going to cast over my bag at this again. Um, okay. Um, and I am going to, oh, that's it, right? That's my only, that's my only thing. And then you can, behind you me. can move. Well, yeah, that's right. I can move past everyone, right? Yeah. 
Okay, they are, I'm gonna... You see the eyes of every goblin and the hop goblin, and you see in their eyes just black void. Okay, so... And they can't see me, right? They are... You don't know. You just heard two words in your head, and you chose darkness. Um, they just seem to be flailing about like normal, except that they can't okay. see. Okay, I moved in, I'm gonna move into the room next to, uh, all, and I'm gonna end my turn. Okay. You start to move towards the goblins, and they slash out, but not at you. They slash around in unison at just, like, some frightened and peeling at their eyes, and others just flail flailing all around. The hobgoblin slash Star Wars kid is still just trying to take attacks, um, and not succeeding at all. You get into the room and you see Hazin, Vondo, and Alton, and Gruel. All of them have the same thing. They all have their eyes just completely encased in this black void. You just, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, 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 once I move, that's all. Okay. That's the end of your turn. Uh, Rule's just gonna take the dodge action. Vondel, you're up. Um, okay. So Vondel is... He's gonna lash out towards the same spot that Rule has been, assuming he hasn't moved. Right. Now, my question. How are we handling double blindness? Um, what do you mean double blindness? Um, so, because I'm blind, I have disadvantage to strike someone. Right. Assuming I even target the right location. Right. I'm um, going to say... But they are themselves blind. Right. He's just taking the dodge action, so it's already at disadvantage. You are also blind. Um, but you know where he is. I would just say disadvantage and minus five to hit because you have no idea what, like you were, you're all engaging in this situation that's going on. You think you know where he is, but you don't know what he could have done in that time frame. That's, that's really goddamn awful. Yeah. That's really goddamn awful. Uh, and Vondel is going to share my sentiments and he is now just swearing in Sylvan mm -hmm. just angrily okay um, but he will swing yeah how about that this is really goddamn awful oh god you need to roll damage with your green flame no, it's not green flame. It's I no, know, I know that snarl is dead. I see. okay. So regular strike. Um, Hazin, mm -hmm. you take seven points of piercing damage as a lick across as the rapier comes across <laughs> and slashes across your arm. It's it's me, Vondel. You hear a voice, just... You hear Hazen's voice as you stab at him. And... Alton, you're up. You um... Not. You are still blinded. I am going to toss a poison reaction about two squares ahead of me. <laughs> and gas that area. <laughs> okay. So everyone in that area needs to make a constitution save with difficulty 12. With disadvantage, because we didn't even yeah. come in. Nah, it's constitution. It's not a reflex. It's just literally your body's ability to fight off the poison. Um, right. Yeah, I would just say... Well, they'll, they'll, Doesn't they'll... matter. What does it oh, do? Oh. <laughs> so bad. Oh, God. Oh, he made it, so he's fine. Well, those that fail take one poison or take one poison damage and gain disadvantage on their next uh, until the start of my next turn from being so, poisoned. Awesome. I'm gonna throw this in there. Does Did I have to roll too? Does who? 
Does Gundren, Gundren have to roll for the constitution Oh, save? I know what has been happening to Gundren this whole time. <laughs> Trust me. Or to good. Gundren is the safest person in the world. <laughs> Next up, Kazuto. Well, he's blind too, though, right? <laughs> he is blind, poisoned, randomly taking two blow darts to the ass. <laughs> but those healed him then, <laughs> so he's fine. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> um, and Kazuto, you need to make a death saving throw. All right. You are considered stabilized. Oh my, oh my god, he's the safest one of all of us, isn't he? Mm -mm. No, he's no. Not. He's with Yeg. But all the goblins are blind! Yeg's a cook. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? I know what I said. <laughs> um, so you oh, are okay. stabilized, Kazuto. Not, a, not awake or anything, just stabilized. Hobgoblin goes, doesn't mean anything. Hazen, it's your turn. <laughs> Man, this is the longest combat encounter I've ever had. Okay, so question. This is pushing on if three something, hours. If something requires choosing targets, right? Yeah. I can't do that because I'm blind. No, you can choose where. You can choose the tiles you're attacking. No, you can choose a, you have to if you have to target someone and can't see them, you can't target them. Unless it's an area. If you're like choosing an area, then you can yeah, say no, this area. But I'm uh, going it's to creature. It's creature within my light. Yeah. Can I make a stab? Is one thing. Throwing a vial is another thing too. Like... I took a swing at him before. I'm gonna. Shit, going up. Gonna, I'm gonna swing at that spot he was at. Alright, disadvantage, minus five. Nope. Seven. That will not hit. And. <sighs> no. Alright, roll dagger damage. Von, will you take two points of piercing damage as. Uh, Hazen takes five and is down. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, you go to stick out and you stick into this. To be this... fair, if it's actually five, I'm at one HP left. Okay. Okay. Well, it's five. I just I. Uh, mm. <laughs> and you take it and then you hear feel these icicles pierce through your hand and you drop the dagger to the ground and you re recoil because that almost killed you. When I when I realized it was Vondel, I, I I'm Vondel. I'm, I'm sorry. And with that, it's Apollyon's turn. Apollyon, you see your allies basically just freaking flailing about and just killing each other. Vondel stabs Hazen. Alton poisons. <laughs> poisons. Um, throws a poison Vondel. vial at a bunch of them. Vondel takes it. Then Hazen stabs back at um, Vondel. This darkness is not having the, 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 the advantages you need it to have. Okay. I mean, so, there are advantages, but it would be nice do, if you talked to them. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just saying, should um, with words. Yeah. yeah. With, could I? How would I? And now I can't just dis dispel it, right? Or do I need like talk to the voice again? You can. Yeah, you can make another check to dispel it. Okay. What am I? You doing, Arcana? Making an Arcana check. Yes, you have the power to to, to dispel it. Okay, and I'm going to. Uh, Are you going to dispel it? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna dispel it, and I'm. And when I do, when I speak to the voice, I'm, now I'm gonna talk in uh, draconic to him. Okay. In the back of my mind. All right. Uh, you dispel it. Everyone regains their their vision. Vondel, you're facing Hazen. Hazen, you're facing Vondel. Um. And Gruel is just backed up, like. Not like far. He's just still in his defensive position. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, it's her's turn. Okay. He will take the dodge action. Vondo, you're up. Okay, I am going to. Uh. 
No, I'm going to I'm going to try and still stake uh, Gruel, okay. the rapier. Um, mm, no, sir. As you, you do still have my bardic inspiration. No, I'm not using it on this. This is yeah. that's. No, my turn's just, done. Okay, just you keep go it, to swing. Just it up there. And he bats it away, and he goes, You're "Strong, but not strong enough. You should join us, and I'll let some of them live." <laughs> As he coughs up blood from his mouth and wipes it off into the his dark fur. Um, Alton, you're up. Uh, can we see again? Yeah, you can see now. Okay. Then uh, I'm gonna shoot him with another poison bolt. Or well, it's gonna be a dart. It will actually only do. Will it do three damage? Because that's what my dart would do. Okay. If it hits, is it still disadvantage? Uh, well, yes. Even if it's not, it's ten, so yeah. ten with. So you fire another one into Gundren. Boom. <laughs> Gundren keeps waking up and then he just gets knocked back down every time. He's just like, oh, thank you for. <laughs> Anything else, Alton? <laughs> this is just going horribly wrong. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Okay. Kazuto, um, you're stable, but you're not conscious. Um, Okie dokie. Uh, okay. Uh, Top <laughs> Goblin goes. <laughs> this guy ever gonna make an attack? Oh my god, no. He misses. He misses again. Again? Yep. Okay. How's in your go? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna... Fuck, let's, let's just take this. Yes, I can make this more That's... dynamic, but... So I'm gonna use... I'm gonna cast Bane. But it's hard when I keep missing. Oh wait, can I see... I can't see the cobla goblin from where I am though, right? No. No. Please help us kill. Yeah, this so. Girl. I was gonna take a swing at him. Fuck it. Okay. Nine does not hit. And he's going to use the reaction I keep forgetting to use. Because fuck this. I finally remembered. I'm like, why am I not looking at his fucking thing? But. My hit, my attack hits first, right? Um, your so first I can attack before that. No, his fir your first attack goes and misses, and then he uses his reaction to attack you, which is a natural one. So yeah, now you just fucking stab uh, him, and fucking. All right. Just, um, but he's gonna s try to swing at you with his morning star, and it just goes so far that he loses the grip and throws it into the wall. It hits the wall and then it knocks on Gundren's head, um, and the Gundren's knocked out for the seventh time this fight. You're making Gundren the new guy too. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. <laughs> the 17 does it hit? Um, 17 hits. Okay. So that, and then I'm gonna use my last one for my flourish. Uh, that's a disadvantage because I totally forgot to change that. That's also not what I should have set. Hold on. Let me just roll that manual. Yeah. Fuck. I gotta, f I gotta figure out how to set that. That's alright. So it'll be 11 in total. Oh, you're doing a blade flourish? That's, yeah, I mean, uh, that's my last one. To do the extra damage? And uh, that was gonna be the one that gives me the oh, the AC oh. back. Oh, that's the AC, okay. <clears throat> yeah, so that gives me 4 AC, but he also takes 4 extra damage. Oh, he takes 4 more damage too? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Then um, how do you want to do it? How Just... do you want to take out Grohl? Just like a fucking whirling dervish, just around him until there's just, just a heap of blood. Just okay. On the floor. You slash high, and then you cut him across the throat. He grabs at it and with his meaty hands. You can see the bones just sticking out every now and then, like cup, uh, tight. Uh, his skin has tightened around his skin with age, and he grabs him with these long nails, and he scratches at his throat. You slash low and he grabs that area. 
then you keep slashing again and again and again and again and again and each time he keeps trying to stop the bleeding until he falls to the ground as there's already a puddle waiting for him and he slams down into the stonework and he breathes out and he just doesn't even let out a word just a uh, and King Gruel is dead in a, I, in, I a in a tiny fit of just like I'm feeling this last bit of adrenaline before I die. I'm just gonna like, I'm your fucking king now. <laughs> um, I am so goddamn happy you killed him this turn. Uh, just in time for the curse to still be in effect. Mm -hmm. Um, pausing when you slashed him apart with your dagger, you left clouds of blood that still floated in the air oh yeah tons of and them. i and butchered that, this thing <laughs> well that that blood did not fall to the ground and instead it hung like a cloud and then coalesced back into vondel uh sealing wounds taken early in the fight so thank you for the uh, five hp nice you're welcome to it. <laughs> and with that, King Gruel is dead on the ground. And I a part throw of my... The, the, I just bow. <laughs> just like, bow. That's, the, that's the performance, motherfucker. Okay. Um, Gruel bleeds out. The fraction of blood that was remained se seeps back into Vondo. And you turn to see the goblins um, at the door. at the door just looking in and seeing gruel down and there is a sense of anger um worry but commitment this battle is not over um and that is where we're gonna have to end it for today because fuck that was <laughs> that was forever that was long and um yeah thanks for watching guys sorry that that fight went way 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 longer than expected um but shit happens and that's dungeons and dragons so dodge action having bastard <laughs> yeah. yeah sucks don't it coward <laughs> sucks don't it yeah he didn't dodge that fucking dagger asshole <laughs> <laughs> well with that we're gonna end the session <laughs> As Kazuto Help. is on the other side. Uh, yeah. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as soon as I find out what you actually did, you are so I'm stabbing you in the fucking neck. <laughs> oh, have at it. Um, Please. Make this me entire so time, this entire time, I'm in a tower wondering where the fuck three of our fucking members are. Oh, that's right. No, Snow is outside keeping watch. Where the fuck did the other two go? Mm. <laughs> fucking trying to wow. casually just bring this fucking coward of a goblin towards me, but no, he don't want to fucking live. Okay. Again, yes. I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, you had to cut his legs off. That's what you do, don't you? <laughs> yeah. When a customer, cu that's, that's, when a customer that's, won't that's, get stand in the right spot in line, I cut their legs off yes. all the time. Yes, that is exactly what that I want to do. That is the appropriate psychotic a... response. Yeah. You are you are, you are now truly inducted into the murder hobo phase. That is it's that's, true. You and Apollyon are just gonna form a. I'm still a hero at heart. Wait, wait. You entered a variable I can't control. Uh, I kill it. I kill it! Exactly. Fucking oh. DMD players. <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Um, if you're watching well, this on Instagram, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I mean, Instagram, YouTube, you know. Anyway, have a good one, and we're gonna end the stream here. So Come back next week when I just burn through goblins like Swiss cheese to let a little <laughs> anger. So... <laughs> Real quick, we'll see. I am totally not going to remember that I have Wade Flourish going. How do I keep track of that? Because my armor class is 19 right you now. You can find out in the next episode of Heroes of Phandalin. <laughs>